Hey, good afternoon. Smally, how are you doing? I'm fine, please leave my way. Calm down. Why are you the fear? I won't be your friend. How can I help you? You be with her sister, Abby? Yes. I'll be Rika, your sister friend. Please, leave me alone. Ah, ah. Stop holding me! Come back. See ya. Eh? If you go house, tell your sister Rika, say you meet one of in good friend. Tell her say you meet Wahab. You hear me so? Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm hmm Good girl. Calm down, not the rush. I know say just they come back from school. I won't give you biscuits. Hmm? I don't want anything. Shh. I won't give you biscuits. Eh? Yeah? I bring your hand. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, but I'm famished. I'm very hungry. I'm sorry. Hi. They say all these rich men picking. They see the job. All the time, the job, job, job. And time, time, go job, bro. I beg. I dare you. If I go finish. Not when I was thinking there's no food in this house. I said it's chicken. Can't go to. Oh, who would have eaten since? Not when I thought there was no food in this house. I saw this chicken. Thank God, though. Hmm? Hmm? Why didn't they cook food, Jeff? Hmm? All the pot, everything is empty. Amanda. Hey, mom. There is no food in this house and you are here facing your phone, facing your phone. I wonder why you don't like cooking. You are a woman, Amanda. For crying out loud. What mom, I cooked yesterday. I cooked. What? Oh, because you cooked yesterday, you are not going to cook again today. Is that what you are telling me? So we are going to eat sand, right? Mom, I am not the only girl in this house. What about Rika? Can't she cook? Eh? In fact, I wasn't born into this family to be a permanent chef for everyone. Please. Don't allow her to hear it though. Do not allow her to hear it. You know what it means. Mommy, please. Uh, since mommy. you are not ready to cook, I know what I'm going to do. It's just to get a maid so that I can relax my head. No, mom, you will not do that. Have you forgotten what the last maid you brought into this house did? She almost caused a heavy disaster, and we cannot afford to have another one. Please. Then you have to cook. You go and cook. 
because your sister and your father might be home very soon. Um, uh, just imagine. I think she's she's here now. That's very wrong of you. That's very wrong. I am telling you. Mom is okay, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. Baby girls. Big sister. You are welcome. You are welcome. My daughter, uh, you look so exhausted. Mom, I am exhausted, very tired and very, very hungry. I hope there is food in this house. Uh, no, there is no food yet, but your sister is about preparing something for us to eat. Okay. How is Mimi? She's fine. She's she's in my room still. Okay. Be inside. Okay. Hey. <sighs> Mom, I can't believe this. Me too. Your sister really changed. I am surprised, Mom. She equally asks after her daughter. Can you be that? God, I can't take you enough for... Oh. Thank God for my sister. Please, go and prepare something so that there will be food at home. Mom, you should always encourage her to cook as well. What is it? Go and cook. Ha! Let me go and get some. Where is my chicken? Huh? Where is my chicken? What chicken are you talking about? Chicken. What chicken? Uh, is there any chicken in this house? Mom, I've not seen any chicken. What are you saying? That the chicken I left in this house before I went out suddenly developed wings and flew out? Is that what you were saying? Annabelle, I know it is you. Where is my chicken? Hmm? You did not eat your chicken. Besides, I did not see any chicken in this house. Maybe your daughter Mimi ate it or something. I don't know. This is your fault, Mom. This is your fault because you keep asking me to come back home. What am I doing for you? Hmm? Rika, you, ha you don't have to say that. You know it's wrong for you to stay in another man's house. Well, then my stuff should better stop missing. You know what? I'm going out. Excuse me. It's okay, no problem. Let me just go out. Rita! How did you get in here? Hmm. Amanda, Amanda, what happened to you? Who did this to you? I'm wounded. I'm bleeding. Yes, I can see you're bleeding, but we have to go to the hospital. I, I need to take you to the hospital now. It's late. I'm wounded. I'm bleeding. Yes, Amanda, I know you're bleeding, but I have to take you to the hospital. Amanda! Amanda! dream is this? 
Amanda, I hope you're all right. I hope nothing has happened to you. What type of dream is I don't know why your father would go and bring a Eloka son into this family. Eh? Mom, are you still on this Eloka thing? This, this happened a long time ago. He said that boy is a good boy. His father may be wicked, yes. But I don't believe in this children paying for the sins of their father. <laughs> My daughter, if you don't understand. Eloka is a very wicked man. You see one thing? He who eats with the devil should have a very long spoon. I agree with you, Mom. Completely. You won't understand what I'm talking about. If you know how much that man hates your father, despite the fact that they are brothers, you won't be saying this. Mom, I understand you completely. But what I'm saying is that what happened between Uncle Eloka and my father happened a long time ago. Even before Uncle Eloka got married. Mom, this was decades ago. Hello, everyone. Finally, food is ready. Please, go and dish out food for Mimi and Amanda. They must be very hungry by now. Okay, Mom, I will do just that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, I need you guys to come in and have food. <laughs> Mom, like I was saying, yes. <laughs> you have to let go. Forgive and forget. It's in the past. Hmm? Eloka is a devil. You see, that's your uncle Eloka. He is a devil. You know what, Mom? Excuse me. Amanda, are you having menstrual pain? Why are you on the floor? Amanda, get up. Amanda, Amanda, Jesus Christ. JJ, <laughs> Chief Ebube. <laughs> uh, uh, how is everything, sir? Well, we're doing well. Um, can we do? How is your brother's son and the new work he's learning? You know you have to put an eye on him this time around. You're talking about Odinaka? Yes, of course. My wife is still insisting that I send him away. Huh? Why? Sifeb, that is wrong. Hmm? I know that your brother is seriously misbehaving, but that is not enough reason for your wife to take that decision. Hmm? It's wrong. It's wrong. Well, that's my wife and her opinion. So it's left for me to say yes or I reject it. Well then, as for me, I won't give anybody that kind of right. That is the kind of right I give to my first wife. And she almost rendered me bankrupt, if not you. <laughs> that happened that time. I would have died of depression because I couldn't have survived it. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, as for me, my wife has been very um, helpful. She has been a bundle of joy. What do we pray for? Make money, then get a wife that will bear your children to help straighten things up, give guidelines here and there. 
for me, I'll say I'm fulfilled because my boys in, in Europe, they are doing very well. Wow. My girls are done with school. And the last one we had, Amanda, mm -hmm. we had it while trying to express the sweetness of our love. <laughs> All I can say is that I give God the glory. I wonder how you manage to live with a woman all your life. <laughs> and you still live like just you met here yesterday. Mm. Hmm? But as for me, I am married four wives. And none of them could stay up to five years. <laughs> one even left less than one month of marriage. That's uh, Janet. You, you know that very well. <laughs> <laughs> no marital advice and counseling worked for me. I don't know why. Well, um, it's the irony of life. You know, it could be good for some people in business and their marital life is zero and vice versa. Exactly. But as for me, I, I would say uh, mine has been good. But that's why I actually don't shop for advice when I have problem with my wife. I just follow her the way we are and we resolve our problems and that's all. Hello? What? Are you serious? Chief uh, Ebe, what, uh, is, what uh, is it? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get back to you. What is it? It's my engineer. Uh -huh. My project in the village. Uh -huh. What happened? He said he has not been around for a long time. Why? And I spoke with him days ago. I hope he has not moved away with my money. Uh, you need to add fast. I have to, I have to. You need to add fast. Hmm? It's all right, sir. Yes, yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? There is fire on the mountain. Hey! James, come. Fire, mountain, where? Did somebody die? What, what's the problem? Eh? How you, you, you can't know? Eh? James, I'm not a soothsayer. I'm just asking you because of the way that you are panting and you are running. What is the problem? What happened? Amanda is dead. Oh, go, go. Hey. James, come, come. See, if not because of her, uh, you have beers more than me, I would have slapped you this morning. James, Amanda just left our shop while she was coming back from school. Which one is Amanda is dead again? I go and... Uh, and... See, see if uh, uh, Just come, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know, you like behaving like a stray dog. I don't even know where to start from now. James, are you serious? Because yeah. I, James, Amanda came to our shop while returning back from school, so. I know they play with Amanda! With your own, move, move. Hey, dog. James! James! Amanda! What happened? It was so Can, are you calm down and talk to me? What happened? As I'm speaking to you, Amanda is lying dead. She's dead. My sister is dead. My sister is dead. Amanda is dead. How? I don't know. I got home, went upstairs to call her to come downstairs and have lunch, and then I met her lying dead in the pool of her own blood. I don't know. This what? Time. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. My sister is dead. What? It's okay, it's all right, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. It's all right. Chief you people have to take heart. I know nothing could be more painful than to lose a child. But you have to console yourself to continue with your lives. I'm sorry. I... Please accept my... my condolences. It's quite unfortunate that you have to go through this. But life has to go on. Besides, you have other beautiful children. 
please pull yourself together and be strong because you cannot question God. God knows why. Please take it easy. Thank you very much. Judas, my friend. I thank both of you for the kind words of condolences. With God, He will give us strength. I think we should be able to. He will give us strength. Thank you. And, uh, I suggest she get buried as soon as possible. Because in any use, in your Yes, uh, definitely. I wish to bury her this weekend. She's still a little girl. Where we come from, we do not make such burial an elaborate one. Just immediate family members. That will be fine. You have to take care and console your wife and your children. Okay. It's quite unfortunate. Life is short. To think that I was just with her yesterday, we were playing, we were together, we had so much fun. I'm so sorry, sir. Please, take heart. It's a mystery, please. It's a mystery like me, I am. I'm a strong being. Just one minute. Daddy, there's a big problem. That's a very big problem in this house. What problem? Daddy, Amanda, Uncle Ibube's last daughter, she just died. Daddy, nothing was wrong with her. She's not sick, nothing, nothing. She just died like that. <sighs> Poor girl. So, that man has finally used that little girl for ritual. Used her? Who used who? Didn't I tell you that man you are living with is a ritualist? I know you don't always believe me because you, you, you like to listen to what your mother tells you. Now listen, the only time the villagers will know I am a, am a madman is if anything happens to you. <sighs> Did you get? Just... Please, eh? this is not the reason why I called you. Nana, you started now with your own problems. What are you doing here? Not, not a man. I only came to call my father to tell him what happened. You are very stupid. I'm sorry, ma'am. Wait. Was that why you are here? So what you do is to pass information of what happens in my house to your, to your people of where? Eh? You will soon state your mission in this house, you. I will soon know your mission in this house. You will soon use your mouth to confess it. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I only felt it wise for me to tell my father that we lost Amanda. If your activities are not scheduled, why would you have to come and hide here to inform your wicked father of what happened? I'm sorry, ma'am. I do not have any ulterior motive. Please forgive me, ma'am. I will not be there. Wait, so. Let me even ask you one question. You, this wicked boy, is it your duty to inform them what happened? What if we don't want anybody to hear about it yet? I'm sorry, ma'am. I will not be there. You don't want to Okay. You. I'm sorry, ma. I will not do it again, ma. I had no bad intentions. You see, any of your evil mission in this house, yeah, it will surely fail. It will surely fail. Your evil missions will fail. I'm sorry, ma. You have failed. Oh, Naka, you have failed. Did you hear me? What did I say? 
You have failed. Yes, Say it again. I have failed. You have failed. And you will continue to fail. You and your wicked father. Mark it. Now see the problem my father happened with you. I would have called you to even tell you what happened in this house. Now see now. Yeah? But what even happened to Amanda? She was not sick. Why come back from school? She came to the shop. And she left from the shop. Why would he not my brother? How can I call a blood sucking demon my brother? No! I can never regard him as my own brother. Now stop making this claim, Biko. Stop it! Huh? You don't even have any strong evidence over what you are your own brother of. What strong evidence do you need? As soon as he became rich, my both parents died. You should have seen how he frustrated me with his wealth. At a point, I almost took my own life, even though God has saved me. For that reason, I will sever anything that binds us together as brothers. But I will never in, love him. Eh, but you are still living in his house. You are living in the house of a man you hate so much. Remember, he's going to bury his daughter here. What house are you talking about? The, the, the house he renovated belongs to my own father. This house was built by my father in his own land. Therefore, it's my father's house in my father's land. Yeah. Nine. Nine. I will suggest you make peace with your brother. So, from one new well. Okay, back on the other rose. On one rose, they know. Make peace with your brother. Open and we hold you on him. Tell him, talk to him one on one as your blood. Call God, that's why he will not stop that. You have this bitterness in you over him. That there's something he's doing that you are not, you are not, you are not happy with. Rather than hating him so much. See, I will suggest you make peace with your brother. Talk to him. Ask him. Uh, in fact, ask God to change him. Everything you just said, I have taken those measures. They didn't work. For that reason, I am severing any call that binds us as brother. Can't you understand what I'm telling you? You are your own, Unai. Yes, so I and my children will not do that because he has not done anything wrong to us. Oh, my major one. Okay, the other day, he gave us some tea money to pay her school fees and buy all the books she needed. Okay, look at Odenaka. Because Odenaka is not good with his school, he now took him with him to learn a line of trade. Then after that, he will give him capital to establish himself. And you are still bitter. Over all these things. Okay, look at me. See all the things he has been buying for me. See all what he has been doing for me. And you want me. Mbano, no man, he has been good to me. Okay. Since I remember, he has been good to me. It's alright. Ah. He has been good to you. Yes, sir. He has been good to you. Uh -huh. He has been good to your children. He has been buying this. He has been buying that. Now, woman, listen. I will not prevent you not to associate with him. But let me warn you. If anything eventually happens to my children, you will see the other side of me. Promise I'm I will, I, will I will not do that. I will not do that. You will see the other I will not do that. Where we work, my dear brother. Where we work, all the time, my brother. Get there, get there. So you, all the very bad. It's very, very bad. Eh? It's very, very bad. Careful. So when you want to read a book, you go through the preface. The preface tells you almost the content of the book. So table of contents, dedication, acknowledgement. Author, preface, chapter one. Internet fundamentals, history of internet, services of the internet, connecting to the internet, world web, wide web, web browser, web page, hypertext, web Address, 
searching on the web. A lot of Facebook and MySpace. You have Facebook now? Chapter 2 Website Design Package Microsoft Front Page Micromedia Dreamweaver Hyper Text Markup Language Elements in HTML Documents Attributes Syntax HTML Strike JavaScript Writing JavaScript Running JavaScript Browser Support JavaScript Not Java Advantages of JavaScript Disadvantages of JavaScript Rise and fall of dynamic HTML, JavaScript libraries, add JavaScript to your page, add event handles. Take, so you read this one. Right. Plan your website. Mm -hmm. Why do you want a website? Mm -hmm. Who are your users? Right. Where will you set your content? Right. Where will your visual design look like? Mm -hmm. Organize your files. Right. Who who is the development team, management rules, visual design rules? Good. Chapter 9. Adobe Photoshop, right. Adobe Fireworks, mm -hmm. other options, mm -hmm. screen design consideration. Hey! Hi. Uncle. Amanda, how are you? I'm fine. You okay? Yes, I'm good. I got you this. Wow. And um, is your sister home? Yes, yeah, she's home. But when she saw you, she hid herself and told me not to tell you. Oh. But because of this, I'll show you to where she hid herself. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. I'm sure you like it. Yes, I do. You know, apart from my parents and my siblings, right? No one has ever given me a gift. Oh, that means I'm the first. Yes, and you're a nice person. And I pray you get married to my sister. Oh, <laughs> thanks uh, for the compliments. And I say amen to that. But let the will of God be done. Of course, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> right. Um, so can I see her now? Yes. Shh. Let's go. Um, I should come with you? Yes. Such a lively girl. I wish you never left. You know I cared about you so much. I wish I could bring you back. I would fight with my last blood. I love you so much. Like this. Sometimes I wonder what drives you to some of the decisions you take. Amanda was not sick. A very strong girl. Hell and hearty. Came back from school. Went to her room and lay and gave up the ghost. And it never bothered you to ask yourself this question. What's happened to your daughter? What's happened to Amanda? Who killed her? Who masterminded her death? Whether it's a natural death or somebody has a hand in it, you never cared. Oh God. Has it occurred to you? That no matter the researches and discovery, none of these will bring back my daughter. What if the flag is close to this? 
What if he is masterminding another person's death? Who knows his next victim? My husband, why are you so careless with life? I have seen a lot in my life on earth. What if the kind of investigation keeps her unburied for months or even years? And to even think that all this will not bring back our daughter, it has made me to consider that the investigation, the researches, or whatever you call it, are just wasteful ventures. Wasteful ventures, of course. Come, if I die today, please bury me and let me go and rest. And if the death is not natural, then let the one who killed me and my God to settle their problems. Can you list it to yourself? Can you list it to yourself? Sometimes you sound so annoying. Why are you so annoying? But even if you don't care to find out what happened to Amanda, I promise you this. I must surely get to the root of this. I must surely find out who masterminded the death of my beloved daughter. Woman, do whatever you want to do. But please, I beg you with God, allow me to bury my daughter this weekend. I can't afford to. Let her remain in the morgue. Please. Amanda, is that you? She was looking scary. What? Oh, my daughter. It's okay. There is no Amanda, okay? Yeah? I think uh, she's hallucinating. From now onwards, we will not allow her to stay alone. From dust, every man was made, and to dust shall we all return. Our body must be planted like a seed in the soil. Today is our sister's turn. We all believe she is resting in the bosom of the Lord. Let us all amend our ways so that on that day we will all meet at the right side of the Lord to partner man and to marry forever with the angels. Amen. It is now time for the family members to say their farewell message before she's laid to rest. Please. <laughs> Amanda! 
from under my daughter. Oh, don't be weak in the spirit. Kill your killers. Hunt them. Don't give them peace. Oh, whoever the has said in your stead, make sure you put them. Kill them. Don't allow them to have peace. Help! I didn't have any man. No, no, just tell me. Doesn't it bother you as brothers from the same room? Stop me, the sermon. I stopped being your brother when I started suspecting your source of income. But I remember we had some good times in those days. Nothing happened to you. Who told you nothing happens to me? Look, don't force words out of my mouth. You've torn our parents' house to better ground. Eh? I only allowed it because I am not the first son. I pray, so God will give me money, I will leave this house for you. Hey, look, how many people died? How many people look, died? I want to know how many people we have buried in this house. Our only sister died, I was buried here. That was when I had nothing. When I could barely feed. And you are saying this? Not up to one year, you made your magic money. Three months after, our both parents died. Heluka, why are you blaming me for the deaths of our parents? It's only God that has the power to make us stay or come over to him. It will be listen, listen good. I no longer see you as my own brother. And I want you to take it that way. You are no longer my brother. You are wicked, you are cruel, you are evil. I heard what you said to your brother. He was even trying to make peace. Manager, you kept condemning him. Oh, John, John. I don't get it. Does it mean I am not a child? And who are you to tell me what is right or wrong? Your wife. You are my wife and you are supposed to stand by my side <sighs> and not to condemn me. I will only stand by you when you are right. Mean amazing welfare. Yes. I told you that man is a ritualist. And he said he's not. You believe him. So you now made me a liar. Not so. But the basis on which you condemn your brother is not strong enough for me to stand by you. That man is kind-hearted. 
He's more mad of Everybody loves him. And he loves everybody near on them mad aka. So why will you condemn him? Please shut up. Who told you that man that man is kind-hearted? Because he gives you money. That made him kind-hearted. I know women lost money. Yes, that is why you are telling me he's kind-hearted. In the world of women, money means everything. Now, now listen, if anything happens to my children as a result of your insatiable crave for money, you will see the other side of me you never knew existed. Only the mama, see, calm down. Don't touch me. You need to understand something. Eh? Nanya. I don't want to understand anything. Whatever it is you want to tell me, keep it to yourself. And don't you ever interrupt me. Do you hear me? Don't you ever interrupt me. Now cool down now. Come on down. Eh? Wait to open up the cake. The man you called your brother. I heard the kind of rotten words that came out of his mouth before you. That man hates you. He hates you to the bone. No matter what. You see, my brother. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised if you're saying this. You have been hypnotized. Oligogi. Okay, Furugi. Oligogi. A man that blames you for anybody that dies in this family. You still call him your brother. No matter what, he is my brother. I know deep down in his heart, he is planning on how to deal with you. He's planning to make you pay for everybody that died in this family. You are here calling him your brother. It's time you think. It's time you think and think fast. Remove yourself, detach yourself from anything that concerns him. Make her. As you can see, I am mourning. That's why we're in the village. You are mourning. And this is the right time for you to make right decision. Yes. Forget about him and anything that concerns him. Live your life. He hates you. I don't know. Leave my Please, I've heard everything he said. He's still your brother, so Fungwan knew well. Biko, forgive him. You know, sometimes his words can be rotten. Biko. Not sometimes, all the time. Biko. All the time. Biko. 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 He's still your brother. Don't turn your back on us. You have been helpful to I and my children. They are your children too, and I'm sure if they become something in life, you'll be proud of them. If you turn your back on us, Biko, the mama, please. Oh, Biko, stand up. I don't have any problem with you. Neither do I have any problem with your children. Even your husband, I don't have any problem with him. It's just that ignorance is driving him against me. And I know, I know that someday he will come to the realization that I'm the only brother that he has. So for one normal, only the mama, thank you. Don't turn your back on us, huh? Thank you very much. He's still your brother. That will name. Thank you. I'm a family rebel, your uncle is it. I hope you are living well with your uncle and his family. Yes, mom. <coughs> My uncle has no problem. <coughs> Just his wife. I think she does not like me. Why would you say that? Mommy, everyone speaks so good about my auntie, how she treats them. But at home, she treats me so bad. She sees everything I do right wrong. I don't know what else to do to please her. Then you check, you get check, yeah? Check. If there is something you are not doing right, then you adjust. Mom, I've tried. I've done everything possible to make her to like me. But I don't think it's working out. She takes every slight opportunity to abuse me, to insult me, to embarrass me in the house. I don't know what else to do. Ma. I suspect she hates us because of the way our daddy talks to them. I wonder why our daddy wants us to stay away from the people that are willing to help us. 
a sumptuous that's the same thing I'm saying. Father made us to hate them even before knowing them. Immediately I go to that house, everybody just love me. They treat me so nice apart from the wife. So me, I don't know, I don't actually know what was the problem. Odinaka. Mommy. Okay, Monty. Listen very well. All I need you to do is pay attention to whatever your uncle and your auntie is saying. Don't listen to your daddy. I just pray that one day he will come to realize that that man is his only brother and come to love him. But the only thing I'm telling you now is always be attentive. Ruben or the very important. Do you hear me? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. That's the only thing I have to say. I will. Um, let me just see you. Do yourself. I'm not running because I'm big. Come and sit down. Leave me. You're still holding me. Leave me, just. Naka is not going back to the city with us again. When will you stop talking about Odinaka? I am not holding anything against him. The issue is that I will not have him in my house again. Let him stay here. Woman, can't you see there's no way you can convince me from taking that boy with me? I've always been doing your bidding. Do this, I'll do that, do this, I'll do this. But this time I will not. And even if the boy gets useless tomorrow, they're still going to link him to me. See, if he wants to help the boy, go ahead and help him. Anyhow you want to help him, please, go ahead and help him. But that boy should remain with his father. I know why I'm saying this. Let him remain with his father. There is no way that boy can achieve anything in this village. That is why... I have decided to take him with me so that he at least he can meet people that can help him get to his destiny. Please just leave this boy alone. Let, leave him with him. Let him stay with us in peace. See, this conversation is as good as close issue. You see that boy matter. I will not discuss it again. Let me face what is facing me. Can't try again, Achum. Let me fish out who killed my daughter. I want to know who killed my daughter. Anyway, it's obvious. It's clear. Staring at my face does not work. So, what do you mean by that? Don't worry. When the time comes, you will know. Don't worry. When the time comes, you will know. Ah, Master Tech, I greet you. How are you? Please hold on a moment. Thank God that I found you. Thank God. I was meaning to even come to your house. There's actually something that I heard. And I said, let me come and confirm from you before I take it to be true. Um, what did you hear? And uh, if I may ask. What did they tell you that my daughter Geneka did again? You go, no serious problem. Your daughter did not do anything. Okay. What I heard was that a ritualist is coming to your house to come and ask for her hand in marriage. And I don't understand. So I said, let me come and ask you. 
Okay, okay. Hmm? Okay, okay, for your own good. I want you to take your mouth far away from everything that has to do with my family. What has my daughter done to you? That you are going around the village speaking bad against her. What has she done, okay? okay? As you go. Point of correction. Uh -huh. I am not going around speaking evil about your daughter. So what are you doing? I only overheard people saying it. That's why I said, let me come and ask you. Ha! Huh. Mwaze Okeke, I wonder why you hate this boy so much. You maltreated him when he was a child. Till this moment. Now he is a wealthy man. Getting ready to settle down and you won't let him be. What has he done to you, Mwaze Okeke? Tell me. But let me tell you, because you seem to not to understand what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So, you still will not understand how much I've been trying to save you from all this trouble. But until your daughter enters into a very big problem, that is when you will realize what I'm not telling you. And maybe you will start to look at me as somebody. I don't know why a young man like that mm. will just decide to be foolish and useless in his life, like him. I don't know. You have been saying that when he was a little child. So, it's no longer a good, a good or new news. Mm. When he was in this village, Mazio Keke, you said that that boy would never be useful. Now, he is a wealthy man. Mm. He is up and doing. He has what it takes to be a man. The same mouth you're using to say that that boy is a ritualist. Mazio Keke, I thank God that this God doesn't judge like men do. But I'm advising you, stay away. I mean, stay clear. Leave that boy alone. Let him be. And leave my family alone. Leave me alone. I will not want you again. Thank you, so that's what you're saying. Oh, I will still be here when you will cry to me. By then it would have been too late because she would have been used for 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 for, for, for rituals already. And I'll go no kuna mana. Babe, are you seeing another woman? What? What stupid question is that? Because lately you've been ignoring me. I don't understand what is going on with you. <sighs> Rika, it is very obvious that I haven't gotten over the shock. The trauma of your sister's demise. Mm -mm. Please do not go there because that is not what this is about. You've started treating me this way long before my sister passed. What is going on? Rika, you know I love you so much. Why do you always think otherwise? Why? Why do you do that? Because of your actions. I am in this house with you, yet I miss you. This is not us. Things have changed with us. What's with you? Don't you love me anymore? Rika, point of correction. I have been the one trying to make this work. I have sacrificed for us to be together. Why do you always make me feel bad? Why do you always see things from your own point of view? What about my own point of view? You don't see me. You don't see me. I you don't feel me anymore. I don't understand what is going on. This is not us. Okay. Aren't you aware that your father wants me to do something for him? Are you not aware your father wants me to do something for him? Or do you want me to ignore your father? No, tell me. Babe, you know that's not what I am saying. What are you saying? This is that... Rika, just... you know what? Just go upstairs. 
Wait for me. I'll be with you shortly. I need to send an email. Your father wants me to do something for him. And that's what I'm doing. Go upstairs and wait for me. And I'll be with you. Come on. You don't have to be like this. You don't have to act like this. You don't have to ruin everything. What do you mean I'm seeing another woman? Are you really saying that to me? This love is no longer as it used to be. Tochi now talks to me without any atom of compassion or love. His words, his words have become so dry like he digs them out from the dust. What did I do wrong to make him lose all the feeling he once had for me? Those days when he speaks to me, the witness in his words saturates my feelings. God, please, don't let me lose him. I love him so much. Since, since Amanda passed away, I haven't been myself. Come here, baby. I know, it's, it's so sad. You know, her death, her death hit all of us so bad. Yeah. I even heard they had a candlelight for her in her school. It's so sad. My poor sister. It's okay. I'll be fine. Let's go to bed. Go to bed? Yes. Babe, you said you had something to, to work on. I, I, I changed my mind. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow morning. Okay. It's alright. Um, just move. Let me turn off the light. Yeah? Turn off the light. What did the light do to you? Babe, you hate sleeping with the lights on. Have you forgotten? Um, not anymore. Um, listen, darkness is of evil. Please, let there be light, okay? Please, leave the light on, please. Morning. Your breakfast is ready. Um, I, I thought you knew I don't like to have breakfast before I go out in the morning. Mm -mm. Not today. I woke up early just to fix breakfast for you. You don't have to finish everything. Just a little bite. Oh, sorry. Hello? Baby, good morning. Um, hey. Hope you're still coming today. I I'll be with you soon. I can't wait to see you. You see, I am ready to pounce on you like a lion. I've missed you so much. Already on my way. I'll be with you soon. Yeah. All right. Thank you. It's breakfast. I'm not interested. Babe. I have to go. Yeah. 
Wait, what do you mean by you're not impressed? Daughter is in super love. Eh? Mama. Take mm -hmm. you made your I know. You know it's it's not today. It's been a long time. And I don't think there is any man in this world that I will love the way I love him. I love him so much. Including me. Okay, man. Sorry. I'm a woman. <laughs> Mama. Um, um, my daughter, mm -hmm. you have to take it easy. Human being cannot and they never be trusted. Yes, I'm advising you to take it easy so that she will not get disappointed. God forbid. Yes. Mama, I will never be disappointed. Amen. Ha I thought she's different though. That is all I wish. It's not like other human beings. Yes, know? let him be. Mama. Please. This world is a sweet place. If only me and you are. We could love, love each other. If only we could love each other. Honey, wait. Come and eat your food, even if it's just a bite. Please. To make me very happy. Okay, a okay. hey, hug. Okay. I'll see you when you get back. Anyone who holds someone to the ground will also remain on the ground as long the victim is there. And as for that man who called himself Chief Ebubediki, feed him with iniquity. He must surely come and confess all the atrocities he has committed against me. He will kneel and beg me to forgive him. Only then he will have peace. And if he refuses to do so, he will live the remaining days of his life without peace. The same way his money couldn't save him in the midst of the abundance, the same way he will never in his life have peace.
Tina, be more. What is the matter? Please. Get it for me. Okay. Why are you hell bent on wishing your brother evil? Adima, are you very very bad? Oh Joker. See, I am your wife. Ma wanogi konye gawag. If I don't tell you, who will? That truth is about to put you into trouble right now. Have you seen any woman who disturbs her husband in the morning hours while he's pouring libation? Have you seen it? Nah, rap that thing. The mama rap with that thing. Eh? Even if he wronged you long ago, oh they go no no. I think it's high time you forget and let go. Why I lose ya? Why I lose ya no no? And who are you to tell me when to let go? Were you there when he put me through all the problems in my life? Were you there when I suffered the worst stage of my life? Were you there? Oh, Chakwalo. So you want to bear the grudge forever? Nya ibu no no biya kono no. Nya icho zipi wo wena mo. Is that making sense? Why I lose ya? I can see you are talking rubbish. You are talking rubbish. Why I lose no? Papa, I'm ready to leave. Okay, go where my beautiful daughter. Yeah, be well at school. Okay. Papa, what about the PTA level that you promised to give me today? I don't have the money now. Eh? I want you when you get to school, tell your teachers that your father said he will give you the money next week. Eh? But that was what you asked me to tell them last week. They said I should not bother coming to school again without the money. Eh. I am sorry I don't have the money now. If that is the case, you can keep your school bag in the house and stay in the house until I have the money to give you yes. because I don't know what to do. Don't cry. Don't cry. Papa, don't mind your father. <laughs> so what it all? So what it all? I'll give you the money. You go and pay. You will go and pay. For five thousand be enough. Thank you, mommy. Get us go. Go where, my daughter? Yeah, Celia, go where. And why are you looking at me? Why would I look at you like that? If I don't have the money and you have it and give it, is she not our daughter? Are you people? Is that what you have to say? So why, what would I say? Is she not our daughter? If not for that man that you hate so much, that you hate with everything in you. Hey! Your own blood brother, oh, keep all the ass here. If not for him. None of our children would have completed primary school. Ta! Eh? Let me warn you, woman. Don't you ever in your life compare me with total ritualist. Now get out of my presence. No, we'll get out though. Get out of my presence. Get out of my presence. That's true, we'll kill you. Get out of my presence. Almost you forget you. I think my mother is right. Could it be that he has started finding my presence boring? Has he caught in another girl? Am I bothering him too much? Mom said that if I become close to a man that is not married to me, that he will get tired of having me around one day. Is he tired already?
then give me one no reason. Yeah, give me wetting. Give me wetting. Go away, you take. You don't pay. Federal government is the top now. Ah uh, yeah. No, Why you get bad man? No man. I give my money today. Uh, no, give my money again. today. Me I give my money. I need to wait. Tell you the bring them. This guy has got me lock on your shop. Yeah, no. Man, why they do like that? They like up, bro. Don't say you see customers. They like up, bro. Leave this woman. I know one is that. Give my money. I need to buy Please, can I get uh, Hennessy or Glen Village? Just one bottle. Glen? 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 My man! See you here! Glen Village, I'm with this. Sure, sure, I'll make a full update. What are you doing? I'm going to make that a shower run. Get up that number. Who is going to come out from? Alright, can I have can I have some? Okay, I should bring. Give her that one give this my brother that the way to one kid that shall give her that one. Wait, give her one. Ooh. That one that is my brother. It's a it's a issue, can't do it. You can't see you can't do it. No, you can't make a no comment now your spec now. That's it. We make a We he still has not picked his call and I hope nothing has happened to him. He said he was already on his way, so I wonder what's keeping him. Hi. I pray nothing has happened to him. Hmm? I wonder why he did not take you to his house. At least to know his house, where he's living. Mama, the truth is that he has tried severally to take me to his house, but I've been the one turning him down. I wanted to be sure of his intentions. I wanted to be sure that he did not come back to me out of lust. You did well, my daughter. But as soon as I set my eyes on him, as soon as he comes here, I am going to be the one to ask him to take us to his house. We have to know his house now. Eh? I had plans of telling him that when he comes today. Okay. Oh yeah, continue dying the call. Continue calling him. What's going on here? What the hell am I doing here? How did I get here? Who brought me here? Hey, you're looking good here. Thank you. So where are you going? Home. I've been uh, I've been here for a couple of days now, so. Oh, really? So where is he? I've been calling him, but he's not picking. He went out and he didn't tell me where he was going to. Uh, why would he do anything like that? Are you guys having an issue? I don't know. 
I just know he, he started acting weird. When he comes back, please let him know that I love him very much. And I will do anything to become the kind of woman he wants. It's all right. I will, I will talk to him. Thank you. And I believe you both will get back together, okay? Just cheer up. All right. All right. I'll see, see you. you later. All right. Yeah, bye. So this man is a ritualist. What did he do to me? He must have done something to me. Oh, no, no, no. This is not happening. How did I get here? Is this you? It shock you. Hmm? It shock you so I still there alive, Abby? Suppose no now, say. Me where do you have? They dead! They're very far away from me. Eh? But I guess B.O. you just forget me. Hmm? Come on, Wahab. I did not forget you. I just moved on with my life. I mean, I'm sure you're not expecting me to be the same place you left me. <laughs> Okay, now I don't show now. We will continue where we stop. Wahab, <laughs> hmm? wahala, wahab. I really missed you, but come on, take a good look at me. I mean, I have changed, boy. I am no longer the Rika you used to know on the street. But don't worry. What we should be talking about now is how to get you off the street. That is, if you want to leave the street. As for me, I am not about this life. In fact, I don't want to be associated with you. I don't mean any bad, all right? Make I just pretend say I know here what you talk. Hmm? Make it just be like, say, be like, say, I did bomb. I know here what you just talk. This is what I will just share with your mouth now. Say, I know here. Um. Anyway, your sister here say she don't buy. Eh? Hello. Thank you. Hmm. Smallie. Why smallie why I give biscuit the other day? Mommy, I say she don't die. What did they solve? Excuse me. Did you just say you gave my sister something and she ate it? I don't understand. What did that look for your eyes? Now me need the open eye for. Your eye they fear me. Eh? Smallie way fine. Hmm? Smallie way fine. But you suppose no now. You suppose no say me be Wahab. The very good bad guy. Eh? Anyway, make I just leave you first. Make you the money you lost. Eh? You get what you just learned now. You get what you don't go around like this. Rika, I go track you normally. I go track you. Sure you don't get money, Abby? Make I go smoke my food first. Why are you coming for looking like this? Do you run into a fight?
Frank, you won't understand. Hmm. Smoke? No alcohol? Why did you turn this way? Huh? Why did you start drinking? Frank, I don't drink and I don't smoke. Have you ever seen me doing those things? No, that's why I'm surprised. What is actually going on? Or do you get into a fight with a drunker? Honestly, I don't understand what's happening. I'm confused. I know, sir. Go. Go, let me take you inside. Go for it. Amanda, where have you been? Mimi, I've missed you. I'm lonely over here. Please come back to us. Everybody has been crying. We want you back. I can't come back anymore. But I'm angry. They sent me before my time. They sent me away without me achieving my dreams. I wanted to become a doctor, travel all over the world to save life. But they sent me away without achieving any. Come on, No, don't tell. Uh -uh. Amy, can you talk to someone? I had voices. She's gone. She's gone. Who was that? Shut up! Amanda is dead. You can't see her. What are you saying? Come with me. Um, I heard what happened in your wife's family. Point of correction, Frank. I don't remember telling you I was married. What do you mean by that? Now I'm asking you, what do you mean by that? As a matter of fact, what is going on between you and your I girl? I never told you, or I don't remember telling you I have issues with her. Calm down. But I remember you telling me that you will marry Rika. Immediately you are financially stable. Now that you are stable, but you seem not to be thinking in that direction. What is going on? Frank, are you here to see your friend or you're here to query me about Rika? Um, the truth of the matter is that I'm here to see you. Uh, isn't it amazing how our lives has turned around in just a space of time? I expected you to say that. So, how's your business going? Business is going well, we thank God. I now have um, a partner in China and Japan. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you see, um, I told you to get a partner a long time ago, but you sounded like you weren't cool with it. Uh, I was cool. I was cool, but let's say that I was not um, mentally and financially ready then. Okay. You know, you know, business with a um, financial partnership is more recreative. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy you're thinking in the right direction now. <laughs> Congrats again. <laughs> Thank you, my <Baimuan>. man. <laughs> yeah. um, Tochi, yeah. to be honest, what is really going on between you and Rika? Nothing. You need to tell me I'm your man. Huh? Why are you hiding things away from me? Nothing. You don't want to marry her again. Mom, I thought Amanda is dead. Yes. She's dead. We have buried her in the village. Can someone be, can someone be buried as to be seen? No. Have you ever seen someone that has been buried? I saw Amanda. What? Where did you see her? In the front of the house. She said that she's not happy because her dreams and aspiration was cut short. If you see her next time, let me know. Okay? Mom. Mom, don't tell me you believe this child. My daughter is crying for revenge. Who Mom. killed my daughter? 
Who killed Amanda? Mom, please stop. You can't just, just take anything that comes out from Mimi's mouth. She's a child and I feel she's not okay. It seems like she has malaria and we should take her to the hospital. I mean, look at her eyes. Her eyes are not bright, so stop listening to her. I'm sure I saw Amanda. Oh, sh shut up! You did not see anybody. You can't see ghosts. Stop saying you saw her. Mom, this is serious. I'm telling you, this child is not feeling fine. We need to take her to the hospital. How many times will I tell you that you cannot see a ghost? Amanda is dead. You can't see her. Mom, please. I'm very serious. Mimi is not feeling fine. Look at her eyes. Her, her eyes color is, is not even bright. She needs to be taken to the hospital. This is very serious. I will surely find out who killed my daughter. Let that person tell me where Amanda has gone wrong. My God. Mom. Mom, calm down. You can't be doing this to your health, all right? If anyone has a hand in Amanda's death, I promise you the law will catch up with the person. Kama will catch up with the person, don't you believe? No, I will not wait for Kama. I won't wait for Kama. I will find out who killed my daughter. Let he or she tell me where Amanda, my daughter, has gone wrong. Oh God, Mom, it's okay. <clears throat> Pastor, please, I want you to help me. Help me fish out the person that killed my daughter. How can a young girl like that just pass away? No sickness. No sign of sickness at all. You have a lot going on in your family, madam. There is an insider that is more dangerous than a viper. Why did you tell me this? Why did you review this all this while? This could have been avoided. You and your family got so busy and decided to make the house of God a place to visit at your own leisure time. Now tell me, when was the last time we sat and talked like this? Hey, man of God, I'm sorry, please. I got carried away by the success I was recording in the office. I am so sorry, please. There you are. Your husband is too busy too. Your children are no longer close to God anymore. You see, one thing about this God is that he is busy with those that are busy with him. So I, I pray for forgiveness. Please forgive me. I pray that I wish this didn't happen. Hey. But I beg you, please, help me to fish out this devil. Help me to fish out this devil. I want to know the person that masterminded this evil. The person that masterminded this wickedness. Madam, like I said earlier, he is an insider. You people will have to organize a seven-day family prayer and fasting. After then, trust me, God will reveal that book she covered in your family by His grace. Who would that person be? Eh? Rika, you have been so restless. What is the problem? My past. Annabelle, lately, my past is just haunting me. I don't know if there's a way I could just erase my mind, you know, erase my mind of all this shit no, I did in the past. it's not possible. Huh? One thing about the past is that it will always come calling. But 
I need you to have this in mind. That you have torn a new leaf, a new way of life. Just move on with your new way of life and forget about the past. Trust me, you'll be fine. Okay? Yeah. Oh, Mom. Welcome. I went to see Pastor Johnson. And he said something very shocking. What? What did he say, Mom? He said that Amanda's death was masterminded by a wicked person within us. I know it. Oh, please. I don't believe this crap. Huh? You better believe it, though. He is a powerful man of God. Don't doubt him. Indeed. Well, if he's that powerful, why isn't he precise? Yes! Why didn't he mention the name of the person that killed Amanda? And save us the stress of guessing. Okay, we're supposed to do what? Start asking ourselves, did you kill Amanda? Did you kill her? Or we're supposed to, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? You people are like your father. You will never believe, except you see that everything has gone spoiled. Hey, Rika. Is there anything you want to tell us? Annabelle, I don't understand. What was that question for? She has been so restless, complaining about her past. I don't understand. If she wants to tell us anything, let us see it. What are you still doing in my house? What are you still doing in my house? Nothing, ma'am. Please, ma'am. What are you doing in my house? Please, ma'am. Nothing, ma'am. Will you leave my house or not? Please, ma'am. Ah! Ah! No, no. No, no. No. Oh, no, no, I did not, no, no, uh, no, 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 I did not, no, 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 I think he's my daughter's spirit disturbing him. telling me that this boy has so many things to explain concerning my daughter's death. God will never allow you to go free. What happened? I had a terrible dream. Dream. Now, now make you the 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 roll. Like, like say you you want you want you want die. Say the 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 chase you with cut 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 last. James, you not understand. You not understand the kind of dream I had. Dream, okay? To, to wait, uh, for, the, uh, for the dream, you thief, you thief phone or you thief person money. Because now for, you know, say, these days, if you thief phone or person money, they could chase you, like say, they go, like say, they won't kill you. Even they will feel born you, put tire, born you. Which one you do? James, I'm not here for your jokes. Just let me be. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, I mean, wait, uh, wait, uh, I'll be, be the, 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 throw you bomb for the <laughs> dream. Because as you as you as you do like this now, nah, I know I know I know I know even understand. Because if if like say as your head be like this, they can they can quarter your head. The sense don't don't come out. So which one they do? James, sir, hmm? I think I have malaria. Hey, now you come so. because <laughs> now so people will get malaria now so they do. Because now only malaria person feed run. 
The guy run now. Where you run? Come here. Come the the bridge. Cause I said you you won't die, but no issue, sir. Better you go tell her. Hmm? Maybe they carry you go hospital, or if na spiritual thing, maybe they carry you go 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 emu emu church. Maybe they deliver you. Oh, sorry. Oh, take that. Oh, no. Oh, you don't know. Oh, I'm one more. What kind of dream is this? Eh? No, 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 again. Eh? What kind of dream is this? This hot afternoon. Honey? Oh, the Naka just did something very strange now. Oh, not again. Sit down. I have good news for you. My partners in Japan just, you know, approved that deal. So I uh, will be up to Japan for the confirmation. Uh, that's a good news. But why is it that each time I mention something concerning that boy, he don't pay attention? That's because we have said so much about it. And it's a forgotten topic. Pastor Josie told me that I'm going to see a sign. And what Naka just performs a strange sign. Sweetheart, I'll be traveling tomorrow morning. I need to travel this weekend. I need to travel as soon as possible. Hey, so you're practically telling me that what I am saying is trash. I'm not making any sense, right? If anyone practically told you that what you said to me is practically nonsense, would you believe that? No problem. Since the only thing important in your life is traveling to Japan, travel to Japan and wish you good luck. travels. Madame will make this house a living hell for me. This house cannot contain both of us. Oh. 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 What have I done wrong? I don't know what happened to Amanda. I'm not the one that killed Amanda. I have no idea what happened to her. Why does she hate me so much? Why is she blaming me for something I know nothing about? My father warned me. My father warned me. I need to leave this house. No, I can't stay here. Naka, you can't stay here. She will kill you. If Uncle returns, she will kill you. You can't, can't stay here. <sighs> it's a sweet place. If only me and you are. We can love, love each other. If only we can love each other. This world, we contain all of us. If only we could love each other. Oh, love each other. Oh, we could love each other. It changed the game. Man change man. It changed the game. It changed the game. Man change man. I'm now a better person. You have changed. This number I've been calling you, but you have refused to pick it. Is it because I'm with you? Frank, are we living each other's life now? What do we call that? We have been watching each other's back. 
we have been sharing one another's day-to-day -day life. Why are you not acting as if you're hiding something from me? Frank, I understand that we're brothers, yeah? I understand that we're friends. I understand that we've been supporting each other. But I feel like we also need to know our boundaries. We need to have some respect for each other. Tochi, the last time I checked, we practically talked about everything. We talk about your girlfriends, we talk about your family, we talk about businesses. We have been sharing each other's problem without any fear. So how come you are now acting as if you, you no longer trust me? What is going on? What have killed your trust for me? Frank. There's something I need to tell you. But you have to promise me you're not going to mention it to anyone else. You have told me so many things. And we always see it between us. So what is it? Rika is not what she claims to be. There's a lot you need to know about her. What? My daughter, you are not being fair to yourself. Mama, I have not heard from him since today. And he's not even picking my calls. You are not going about this the right way. Yes, you should focus more on improving yourself with this little opportunity you have now than bothering him with too many calls. Who said I'm bothering him? I did. I say so, my daughter. He might not tell you. But I am. I will tell you. I am your mother and I cannot deceive you. You know that he will always call back. When he is in a better place to do so. So, my daughter, I advise you to give him breathing space for now. Mama giving him breathing space automatically creates space for another woman to take him from me. And that is what I do not want. No. It cannot be like that. He will not do that if he truly loves you. Look, my daughter, let me tell you. See, you have to put yourself in the position where he will see the value in you. Focus more on your improvement to yourself so that when he look back, he will find out that you have been improved. You have gone far doing yourself well. Instead of uh, uh, always trying to get his attention, he should be the one trying to get your attention because you have added so much value on your life. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I want you to be a respected, a responsible woman. Don't hurt yourself because of a man. This is my little advice for you, my daughter. Do 
this is unlike Dochi. By now he ought to have called me back. He's not even answering my call. What exactly is going on? What is happening? Which I hope you are fine wherever you are. I hope you are safe. I don't know what you are doing there that you are, but I know you must speak my call today. I will call you till your battery runs down. You have to pick my call. I'm giving you no less than 10 missed calls. Are you trying to tell me that you have not seen my call? It's where you are. Just, you just have to pick my call. What are you talking about? You are the marketing manager and it is your responsibility to make sure that my products are, are sold to everyone in this country. I, I don't like that. As a marketing manager, you must be up and doing. Good day, sir. I'll call you back. Dinaka, you're not looking good. What's the problem? Uncle, I overheard you saying that you want to travel. <laughs> yes, I want to travel to Japan. But I won't be long. Is there any problem? I would love to travel back to the village. Maybe return when you are back. Why do you want to travel to, to the village? Auntie don't like me. She may start treating me bad when you're not around. Whew. What was the meaning of that? What did you get that from? She hates me so much. Every time she tries to say things that... Hey, she's my wife! And she cannot go contrary to my wish. And stop this idea of saying you're going to the village. There's no future out there. I want you to overlook every distraction that wants to stop you from achieving your dream. Be a good boy. Obey everyone that you need to obey. That your dream will come to a manifestation. That's true, sir. I'll, I'll try my best. Better. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Nels. Uh, I have this urgent need to be in Japan. Yes. Ah, yes. That's right. You mean we'll be traveling to Japan soon next year? Mm -hmm. Well, um, who are you leaving the management of your company for? Cherica, of course. I'm impressed of her uh, improvement of, of late. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is she that sharp enough to cover your space when you are not in town? Yes, of course. Ah. She's um, head of my department in two, three of my companies now. Really? And she has raised um, a team that you know, have not recorded any loss in the last one year. Wow. <laughs> so I think she can. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> that boy needs to be thanked. You mean Tochi? Yes, of course. Hmm. I don't know how he did it. But he really helped you to recover that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when she was giving you sleep sleepless nights. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have made him a millionaire. And that is the list I'm going to do for him. On their wedding. I'm going to do for him what he will not forget in a very long time. That's good. <laughs> That's good. And I really want to make him to be established. And when he's established, that means he'll take care of my daughter. Wow. Wow. <laughs> to that extent. Yes. <laughs> but um, Chief Ever, I suggest you have to monitor that boy very closely to find out his true intention. My friend Julius, <laughs> that I have done a long time. I have monitored him and have concluded on his genuineness. Yes, <laughs> and so that's why I well, <coughs> want to set him up so he can take off my daughter. <laughs> you really have good intention for him. <laughs> of course, you know that. <laughs> I hope it, I hope it. <laughs> it will not change. Mm -mm. We don't, we, 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 I totally don't hope so. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think he will. Thank, Thank you very much. Come on. 
Ну да, кинопереводчик. Do not forget to promise that I will go and join my brothers in London as soon as you get back. Annabel, I cannot forget anything like that. Okay. Come on, just take care of your mother for me. That's all. That's all. <laughs> No way she take care of you. Mama will take care of myself. I already told Chirika all that she needs to do until I return. Okay. All I want you to do is to come back very, very soon. It's just two months. <laughs> okay. Two months. Two months is just. No, I only just removed. Uh, okay, I removed it just from the two months. So it will be two months. Yes. It's no longer just. Do you think two months is two days? Well, not really anyway. But two months time. is not two days. I I two months is not far, mom. <laughs> uh -oh. Be careful. <laughs> okay, I know my little Mimi will be asking about me when she returns from school. Just tell her I'll get her goodies. Okay, that. Beautiful that's... things. <laughs> I see you. I know, I do. Mom. Uh, oh. Yeah, um, I will buy you goodies when I return, okay? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Until then, let's take good care of you, all right? I will. Dad, you do not have to worry. I will personally take care of Odinaka. He is also my brother. I mean, I am going to feed him so well that by the time you get back, he is looking so fat and robust. You might not even recognize him. You can say that again. And Dad, I will sure do that. Odinaka, eat as much <laughs> as you can bite. Yes, sir. That's the only way I can believe you. Yes, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take the money? Money? Yeah, the money on the table, did you take it? What kind of question is that? Did you see me move from here to that place and take money? Okay, so I, I left or I kept money on this table. Did you did you see it? I don't understand you, don't you? How can I move from here to that place without you seeing me? Are you not calling me a ghost? Frank. Did you see the money? I didn't see any money now. Which one do I see any money? Did they bring all this once now? Okay, Frank, what you're saying does not make sense. I left some money here. It was right in front of me. Okay. Literally two minutes ago. Okay. To be honest with you, you are becoming something else. What? I'm telling you. So, what you just said now, does it make sense to you? No, it doesn't make sense because so what, you're saying, this house, what you're saying is not making sense to me. How can I possibly sit here and move from here to that place and take wait, money that way? Did you see the money? I didn't see any money. No, did you see the money on the table? I saw you that you kept money the way you're writing something. So, where is it now? The question, do you see me move from here to that table? To that so, where is the money now? Where is the money? Well, you can check there and I check very well now. Where is I the money? It. There's no money here. See, 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 Dochi. Dochi, you are losing it. I'm losing it. To be honest with you, you are losing it. This is not you. Frank. I know you very well. Frank, my question to you is, when did you take this money? Hey, 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 hey. Are you that fast? Tochi, Tochi, Tochi. This is what I wanted from you. You are insulting me. No, but seriously, are you that fast? No, you are indirect. You're calling me a thief. Is your hand that long? So I can stretch my hand from here to that place and take money without you seeing me. What are you trying to say now? So where is the money? Don't you search your pocket. There's no money in my no, pocket. No, check yourself now. There's no money in my pocket. Who's in this house apart from both of us? You should know better. Don't you, you should know better. See, I don't Frank, like this you, you are doing. Give me my money. I'm I don't like this you are doing. Give me my money. See, see let me tell you. If you want money, ask me and I'll give you. Why should you steal my money? What kind of nonsense is this? Since when now? No, when did I turn to a thief? No, no I, when did I start stealing? I didn't call you a thief. I said just give me my That's money. That's what you are calling me now that I take your money. And I'm telling you I didn't take any money. Did you see the money? 
Kochi, I didn't see any money. See, this is not the issue. Two now. minutes ago, you said you saw the money. Kochi, now Kochi, you don't. You didn't see the money. You need to go inside and get money. ready. Let me take you to the hospital because you are losing it. Take me to the hospital. You are losing it. You are not normal. Frank, you want to take me to the hospital? Of course. So indirectly calling me a madman. You are indirectly calling me a thief. How can you accuse me of stealing your money? So did you see money on this table? I saw you kept money there when you are writing something. Then I then I I not asked me about the money. Did you see me move from here to that place? No, tell me, did you see me? Frank. Wow. Frank, I didn't even know you were still in town. Yeah, I've been around. But uh, it surprises me I've not been seeing you all this while. Well, Kuchi has to invite me to come around. He has been mute and I don't know. Rekha, open up to me. What is actually the problem? Tochi is not talking to me about it either. Honestly, Frank, it's confusing. Tochi just suddenly started acting cold towards me. I don't know what I did wrong. You know, maybe he's going through emotional trauma due to the loss of my late sister. They were pretty close when she was alive. Yeah. I guess so. He's really going through a lot. And that is the more reason you should be close to him now. I'm trying. I don't know what else to do. <coughs> do you think Gucci is seeing another woman? I mean, is he being faithful to me? The truth is that you're a woman. You should know when a man that loves and cherishes you so much is cheating on you. He has not given me any reason to think otherwise. It's just his attitude. Rika, like I said before, that is the more reason why you should be very close to him now. Don't you need him now more than ever? Okay? Everything will be fine. Just take it easy on yourself. Is it that he's no longer interested in the relationship? Does he no longer find me attractive? Tochi, I told you. I told you that I am not ready for this. But you insisted and pushed me into it. Now you have changed. Why are men like this? Tochi. Yeah. You are now a big boy. <laughs> you have totally changed. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, we are on the same level now. I, I know uh, I will be nothing to you. Because you have upgraded. You don't have to say that. I mean, whatever belongs to me also belongs to you. Right? What's mine is yours. That was then. I'm not sure of it now. Are you telling me that those city girls will leave you for me? How is that even possible? I know that the kind of girls you, you mingle with now will be very classy. Girls that knows what's up. Yeah, you're telling me this one. The truth is that I don't have strength to compete with anybody. I won't let that happen. You were there for me when I had nothing. So trust me when I say that you're not in competition with anybody. Alright? You know, Tochi... Truth is that I have never loved anyone the way I love you. I love you so much. But at this point, my mental health is at stake and I don't want anything that will give me sleepless nights. I'm not ready for it. Give me your hand. Thank you. 
let this serve as an assurance that we're going to be together forever. I don't understand. Um, Mama, no. your daughter and I, um, we have agreed, uh, we have decided to s s be together. Be together? Yes, uh, we have decided to marry each other. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. is it true? Yes. <coughs> My son, I am happy to hear this. I am very, very happy. But what I want to hear is the date. The date you will come with your people for a proper introduction. Eh? Um, Mama, you're right. But um, I, I have a business trip to make. Yes, I'll be away for one month and three weeks. Once I come back, I'll come with my people and do the marriage rites, I promise. You have known each other for a very long time now. So I am very happy you're making this decision now. Oh? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not saying anything. Mama. You know, I love Tochi so much. But like you said, he should take a step further. Yes. Right. Mama, thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. I really appreciate your kind uh, words. I knew it. I knew that everything he said to me were all lies. This is not the kind of relationship I need in my life. Tochi, why are you doing this to me? Why are you putting me through this kind of pain? Why are you breaking my heart? I'll call you for the last time. Please pick my call. Pick my call, say something. Even if you are no longer interested in this relationship, just, just speak it and tell me so that I will at least know my stand. You cannot just leave me in the dark. Be doing this, you can't be doing this. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I don't know what you promised me. about you. I cared about you. I took care of you better than your sister did. Please, please. I, can't, I didn't kill you. Why are you tormenting my life? Please, please. Why do you hate my sister? No, I, I don't hate your sister. I love her. She's my fiance. You know that. You know that. Please, please, listen, please. I, 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 I love your sister so much. She's my fiance. That's a lie. No, no, no. I'm not telling lies. So I, I, I'm, I'm saying the truth. Listen, and you know how much I cared about you before, before your demise. Please, please, please. I, I, I didn't kill you. I don't know what happened to you. If you lied to me, I will. No, kill no, no, no! Please don't kill me! 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 Please don't kill me! Don't kill me! Inside the screen, like somebody with really under attack. Why did you go inside and find out what is it? Ha! When they talk like this, now you want me to carry my arm for waiting? I don't know. 
must be very stupid. Thank you, sir. Please, I love you. I love your sister so much. I thought you were a nice man and you loved my sister. Why? Tochi. Tochi. What is the matter? Hmm. What is going on? Hmm. Where? She's here. Amanda. Where is she? You can't see anyone. I can't see anybody. She's right in front of you. Please, listen. I, I swear, I, I, I loved you like like. I, 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 I didn't I, I did kill you. I I I don't I I love your sister. She she she's my. Friend. I don't know why you died. I don't know why. This is really becoming something else. Are you sure Toji is normal? Toji. See the girl there? Did you not see Amanda there? I told you I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. <sighs> what is going on? <sighs> Since the little girl died, I haven't been myself. Wait. You mean to tell me you have been communicating with her ghost? Yes, I have. This is serious. See, you have to do something about this. You need to do something about it very fast. See, I think you should go and see a doctor. No, 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 Oga. This thing, doctor, nothing concerning doctor for this thing like this. He need to see a, native, a big native doctor, like a good one. We go help us. You shut up. You shut up. Shut up and go back to your duty post. Now who call you? Yes, see, Tochi, like I was saying, you need to dance in the regular area to do it. Eh? Where are you going? Going out. Just like this. Tochi! Tochi! My baby, always rugged. What happens to my sister Wahab? She said they're very selfish. You know, she said they're selfish. I asked you a question. Reply me with an answer. So because say you lose one person and I make you the you the parabi, you get the ghost. Come, they ask me where be Wahab. What thing happened to your sister? But you don't forget, say I lose many people. I mean, you don't forget. What have you talk as if I took their lives with me? We are supposed to be friends. My baby. We are supposed to stand for each other, my baby. You're supposed to bring down your father connection. All those people when you talk to your father again, you're supposed to bring them. Come, bellows come up for that place, but you leave us make with I. What have I told you guys I was done? All right? My baby, my baby, my baby, we'll be friends. We are supposed to stand for each other. Eh? We don't take blood all together. We don't eat together. So what are you doing here with your mouth? Wahab, is that why you killed my sister? See, eh? I saw you say the poor girl died. That beautiful smolly died. But nevertheless, eh? Me and you. We did this place together, we did this game together, you know, go feed the bats. <laughs> Wahab, 
I don't remember promising to spend the rest of my life with you at any point in time. Yes, we had our own time. We had fun. When I was done, I told you guys I was done. Man, you the caught crap. You the talk rubbish. You did very, very, very heartless. So you leave us for that place make we buy? Abi? You don't tell me say your father gave me any connection, but you leave us for that place make we buy. You don't say you the heartless. What happened? You're pulling me. You're really pulling me hard. You know me. If you succeed in pulling me out of my shell, I'll fuck you up. You regret the day you ever cross paths with this bitch. My baby, would they threaten me? If I see that life now, if you don't this now, you will invest me, but like this way you see me so. This is my way they see here, don't die. Eh? You the ginger me now, make I fear you, Abby. Now lie now. Your brother say you talk, your brother say you give me a camel, make I drink. Way soft. If you give me up now, we don't say this girl don't galant. Eh? You no know, get what you for this life will make me a new separate. I won't make you carry that one for your mind. If you like the yana after that one will consign me. But get that one for the back of your mind. And as I tell you that's where you be. Me and you don't get anything. Make I come up for this cafe. <laughs> My daughter, I have told you to forget about this boy, but you refused. Mama, how do you expect me to forget a man that I am engaged to? This man in question, I've never had issues with. We've never fought. Nothing at all. You expect me to forget him like that? See, no matter what you feel for him, no matter what you share with him, I am sure he's not worth dying for. You don't have to end or kill yourself because a certain man stopped picking your call or talked to you. My daughter, I have told you, there are too many good men in the world. There are people that, they are good. That will come into your life, they make you happy. They make you feel like a woman. They will not trouble you the way he is. Maybe he has gotten another woman to himself. Why are you hell bent on making me feel pain? I told you I am not ready for this. Why are you doing this you to need me? You to calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down. I need you to give me the reason for, for not taking my calls and for not calling back. I've been going through a lot. And taking your calls would probably make things worse. Please. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. So the problem you have, you were told by whoever it is that told you you have problems, that ignoring me will solve the problems. Am I right? I didn't say that. But listen, I'm going through a spiritual problem right now. And if you look at me closely, you can tell that there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. I'm not myself. What exactly is going on? What is wrong with you? I... Sorry, I have to go. I'll call you back. I don't understand what is going on. Come back here. What is it? What is going on? You are yet to explain yourself to me. You've not even told yes. me what the problem is. Come back. You, you... What exactly is going on? I don't understand. What is this? You are yet to explain yourself to me. You've not even told me why you've been ignoring my calls. What is it? I don't know. I don't know why he's acting this funny. I don't know what exactly is going on. My daughter. Come on, Come on, Come on, Take him away. Take it away. Open that gate. <laughs> Wicked soul. You will remain there until you confess. Idiot. You, oh yeah. Will you get her from there? Get inside! Wahab is just trying to wake up the deadly being in me. I just hope someone reminds him that I am still crazy and I have what it takes to send him back to jail. What is it?
I beg if you help me tell Madame to, to release all day. I beg. I don't understand. Release Odinaka. How? What did Odinaka do? Um, but Madame um, carry some vigilante. Come carry him. What? Mm. You mean vigilante people came here and took him away? Mm. Why would the mother do that? Mom? Mom? Mom, why? Why did you send that boy to the vigilante? Do you want to kill him? <laughs> eh? This is time to know the truth. I just want to clear my doubts, that's all. What truth are you talking about? That poor boy is innocent and you know it! Well, if you want to clear the truth or do this, then you do it legally, you do it the right way! See, the issue here is that my daughter was killed. And I want to fish out the killer and deal with him. Well, period. report it to the police. Go to court. Let them do investigation. Don't take laws into your hands. It is wrong! See, the police will not do the job the way I want it. They will not torture him the way I would want them to torture him. The vigilante, are they not legal? They are legal. Mom. Those boys are way trained for this kind of matters. Mom, ah, that boy must be released today. You have to release him today. <clears throat> you're not thinking of what the consequences of what you're doing. My dear, just relax. Because no amount of pressure, no amount of pressure will make me change my mind this time. Mom, Mom, just reason with me, okay? Look, this, this, this is somebody's life we're talking about. I'm looking for your small madame Rika. Uh, she she, she not say you 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 they come. No, there's something very important I need to discuss with her. Okay, that means wait my like this, man. What is the problem? Did something happen to him? Oh, he just left. But to be honest with you, he's not looking well. Ever since I came to that house, his attitude has changed. Why? I, I think he needs help. Maybe I misunderstood him. Maybe I should have listened to him, you know, giving him a chance to open up. Uh, Rika, I think this is the best time to be close to him. He really needs help. But he's not saying anything. He's not talking to me. How do I help him? I, I was thinking he came here. Hold on, let me see if I can get him on the phone. It's really... He's not picking up. What kind of problem is this? He didn't tell you where he was going to. He didn't tell me. He only entered his car and drove off. God. What kind of problem is this? What's going on with Tochi? What is going on? He's not speaking to me. How are we going to help him? I don't know. See, I think I should go back home and wait for him. He really needs someone around him now. Okay. okay. Uh, please just let me know as soon as you hear from him, okay? And I will quickly call you if no, I hear from him. No problem. I think something is wrong with that young man. Okay, okay. Could be right anyway. Mama Biko, 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 stop mentioning the name of that wicked man. You know, I dislike him. I hate him because of the way he treated Tochi. But the things he said about Tochi is playing out now. It's finally playing out. Yes. Playing out. Hmm. Mama, what are you saying? We all know how that man is good at talking rubbish every time. You're taking his word serious? Mama, be My yeah. daughter, the last time I saw him, the things he said about Tochi sounded like rubbish. He said that Tochi is a ritualist. As you can see it today, he acted strange. 
he acts like someone that's been pursued by the spirit or some kind ghost. Honestly, Mama, I don't know what is going on. It won't get with you. The sudden wealth of Toji. Yes, I am as surprised as you are. Because that that boy literally became wealthy overnight. Now didn't call that boy Patakita. I want to run for name. I want to run. Then okay, it could be right. My daughter, at this moment, please. I want you to be very, very careful. Be careful of that young man. I know you love him so much. We have to tread with caution. Yes. The Tochi we know is no longer the Tochi we know now. Obviously, you can see it. Please, my daughter, please. You are the only one I have. Pick one. Mama. Even if Touch doesn't marry me tomorrow, my only prayer for him is to succeed and live a good life. That boy has really been through hell. He has suffered. <sighs> You know I wish him to. Wake up and eat your food. I'm not hungry. Take it away. You have to eat. Yeah? I bought drugs for you too, and you know you cannot take these drugs on an empty stomach. Thank you. Thank you. Please eat. Your body is so hot. You mean your uncle saw you in this condition and still insisted you follow him to the farm? What kind of a human is he? He doesn't care about me. It's well. It's well. See, um, you just have to eat and take your drugs. I believe that all this will be over soon. Oh? Just... It's you go. <clears throat> then we came. Did I not tell you to allow me to get to the farm before you? But uncle, I told you I'm not feeling well and I can't walk today. You are not feeling well, you can't walk today. If you continue with all these excuses and allow me to finish that work in that farm without you stepping your legs there, I advise you before I come back. Pack your things together and leave my house. What kind of human are you? Where is your conscience? Why are you being so wicked and heartless? Are you a devil incarnate? Can you not see that this young man seated here is very ill? No, feel his body. His temperature is high, but no, you don't care about his condition. The only thing you want from him is for him to go to the farm and work for you. Like I said, shut up your mouth. Who do you think you are talking to? Eh? How dare you come to my house to come and give me instructions? When are they making this? In fact, I don't even have anything to tell you. As for you, Tochi, if you're going to give one. Uncle, please just forgive her. She won't do it. No, you no, 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 don't even beg him. answer me when the time comes. Don't beg this man. Let me insult him. Look at this thing. Who do you think you are? Every time, house, house, house. Where is the house? What kind of nonsense is this? You keep treating this boy like a slave. 
Rubbish! What, 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 what's this nonsense? Tochi, honestly, I don't like the way you are handling this issue. You need to talk to this man. Some issues, so, so, some battles, you don't just relax and allow anybody to treat you anyhow. You have to fight like a man. What is this? You have to stop talking to him before you get me into more trouble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouted. I, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just eat your food and take the drugs, please. Where is the drug? You cannot take the drugs Give on an empty stomach. My love. What is this again? My uncle locked me out last night. I slept under a tree. What? I don't understand what you just said. How can that man lock a grown-up like you outside? He's doing too much now. It is becoming too much. Like I am fed up with this, his wicked actions. What breaks my heart is that you have no other option, no place for you to stay. If not, I would have advised you leave that house of his for him. What is this? I have decided to make a move. If I perish, I perish. God forbid. You will not perish. My love, what are you saying? Please don't say that again. Please. Ginika, there's no future for me in this village. I want to go to the city. But then, I don't know anyone in the city. I don't. You have to make that bold step. I will keep praying for you. Yes, it may seem impossible. It may seem very hard to achieve, but you will definitely achieve all the good things you need to be okay in life. Kinika, you have been supporting me all this while. You're going to get tired someday. Why should I ever get tired of you? Listen, my love. I will be with you and stick with you from now till eternity. All I need from you is to keep your faith high and never give up. I will protect you, guide you and love you always. I have seen him go through a lot of heavy hurdles. I have seen him live through the skin of his teeth. I have seen him shed tears, sweat, and I've once seen him bleed. Even if Torch does not marry me tomorrow, he deserves better than he has now. I wish him the best in life, and I pray that nothing or no one will cut off his joy. Amen. Amen. Come on, I will be your mouth and say something. Show you pointing that thing at me. Now you kill him. No kill him. No kill him. Say no bit. Say no bit. Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! 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 What is it? What is it? I saw Naka in my dream and I think he's not feeling fine. I said it. I said it, but you wouldn't listen. Gladys, pray nothing happens to my son if you don't want the villagers to hear about us. Nay, you should have at least asked what the dream is all about. The truth is that she's been hunted. She's been hunted because that ritualist has been giving you blood money, which you have been using to take care of my children. Is it not better for me and my children to live here in penury than donate my children as lambs to a ritualist? 
Yes, ma'am. Hmm. What is it? What is the problem? I saw some people tied Odnaka to a chair and they beat him up mercilessly. That's what happened to my son. Hey, you are the Wahab, I'm Amanda, Rika's late sister. My sister is now planning to return to her old self. That will be very dangerous to you and to other people around her. Please go and tell her the truth. Not just for you, other innocent people might be affected. Baby. Baby, what is it? What is going on with you? Okay. Is there something bothering you? I mean, something you think I should know about? You know you can tell me anything. Hmm? There's nothing. There's actually nothing bothering me. Or maybe there's something about you I should have known. About me? Mm -hmm. Babe, you know everything about me. I told you everything about me. My past bad habits of drinking, smoking, hanging around bad boys. Sleeping around different men. Yeah. Sleeping with different men. Yes. But it's all in the past. And I am not proud of it, even though it's the truth. You also have a daughter. And you've had, or should I say, you've done a series of abortions. What is going on with you, babe? Like, where is all of this coming from? Why are you sounding as if you're just hearing about it now? I told you myself, you know my past. As a matter of fact, I changed because of you. You turned me into this this decent woman in front of you. You should be proud of me. I I I have been consistent with this change. Who are you and what are you doing here? I did look for Rika, that Junsin girl. Wait till. Oh. Is it my August girlfriend you're referring to as that Junsin girl? Are you high? See ya. Uh, you know, look where you get. I didn't in a good mood today. And the mission why I come for here, they're different. If not, if I just collect like this now. You know what? She doesn't live here. Maybe let's say it is I come here, come to put it with you, Abby. It is I come here, come they open teeth with you. Me, I make me and you come they laugh. She's Abby? not living here. She's not living here. Come, you better say you, better say you they mad, Abi. Abi, what my change that for you? You they crazy? Come on, go inside the go down and reach and say, one day I can't see her. Yeah, you they had the open teeth. Someone is out there. He said he wants to see you. Who is that? Um, he said his name is Wahab. How did he find this place? Do, do you know him? Yes. I'll see him. No, 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 ma. He looks very dangerous. He looks like a criminal. Hey! Do not let him hear you say that. Excuse me. What are you doing here? My baby. See ya. Uh, the message I can't deliver give you like this. I know that you feel digest them. Why did you do it? She did you no wrong. Rika, you know sir, I love you. And you know sir, I'm not going to feel hurt your sister. 
the matter will happen, be say, na coincidence. Then who did it? She wasn't sick. She never complained of anything. All of a sudden, she just passed. See, yesterday they smoked my marijuana normally. You know me now, you know say they like smoke normally. They smoke my ganja. Your sister just appeared. Can't deliver a message, can't give me. Now that same message I can't deliver, I might give you like this. Oh my God. She appeared to you. What did she say? What did she say? Huh? Rika, see, eh? I know so you and Popsy know they close. Eh? But the clear matter be say, now you're Popsy, now you kill your sister. What? Are you out of your mind? How can you just stand here and speak ill of my father? You, you're crazy. You see, they speak English. See, whatever you do, eh? I don't deliver the message, give your sister out. And by the way, Seth, I don't know your house. Remember, me and you still get Scott to settle. Rika. Um, Chief, um, good, good afternoon, sir. Good, um, good. Return my money right away. I said return my money right now. Me? How? I don't take your money now. What are you talking about? Eh? Which one is that you return your money? Which money? Did you see me taking any money? I didn't take your money, oh. If only I knew I would have taken that money, this money. Because I know you will not have any left for me. Mm. And now let me let you know this. If you take my money, it will be useless. Chief, no one they make me vessel. I go change them for you. Did you see me stealing your money? Which kind of accusation be that one? Look, I did not collect your money. I'm not a thief. What are you trying to say? Don't get me angry. I cannot come and visit my father. I cannot go inside your room again. And now I'm not cast, Abby. I know who will cause more damage. But let me assure you, if you take my money, my money is going to be useless to you. Yes, I mean my hard earned money. You will see my money. You will feel it. You will touch it. But it will be useless to you until you turn a new leaf. Mm. That is if I took your money now. That is what you are saying now will happen if I took your money. I cannot take your money, so it's not going to happen. This world is a sweet place. If only me and you we could love, love each other. If only we could love each other. This world we contend on. 
Afana, you don't ready? I don't know. Yeah, I just carry my bag now. No, now. I didn't open, I'm not going to enter this place. So, how, how the man contact me? My papa. My papa run now. My papa now run now. You know what I'm saying? Don't they suspect this man a ritualist? But, hi! But why do you talk like that? You see, when I collect this money, I move the money, they won't come out. My papa block me. He tell me, say, make I go drop the money. I don't go your money. He tell me, say, that money, I don't go, I go see him, I go touch him, but I don't go spend them. I'm you say? And they tell you now, what did the man talk? You know, I have been thinking, I have been suspecting that this man is a ritualist. But you see this matter now, I don't clear everything. That man I wish. But I tell you before, I don't hear you this thing before. I tell you that man, I don't trust him. You know, you don't go, you don't go, you don't go, you just leave change, Sam. So this is true. My father is a ritualist. Did he use my sister for ritual? No, I don't want to believe that. I hope this is not true. Why would he use his own daughter for money ritual? I thought you said you were disconnected with the guy. What were you doing out there with him? I... I just saw him outside. So you brought him to my house? No! It is Wahab we're talking about. He's very dangerous. It's possible he traced me down here. Does that mean my house is no longer safe for me? Babe, calm down. Why are you sounding this way? You promised to stand by me through this whole ordeal. I are you changing your mind now? Rika, I can only try. Do you understand me? I can only try. Changing is entirely your business. You need to stay away from bad people. I am a changed person. I don't hang around bad people. In fact, most of those guys are dead. So I'm in prison. Wahab is the only one that is free. I don't know how he, he found this place, but please. I promise you I am a changed person. I just need... Little time to sort this out, that is all. Rika. Yes, baby. Listen to me and listen good. Whether or not you change, it's entirely your business. Babe. Make enjoy the two in one. You know, say we go to Canada, we enter to chop wood. If I get cut, I will say you don't chop. But you go here and now. You go now say they need to use lighter, go hell fire. Never hear that song, never mind. You go see the next one. Never hear that music, never mind. Never mind. Huh? Wow. You go now say. Ha! Ha! Show us up. Boss man. Yeah, what's up? Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Miss Nick has been calling me, asking me about that small boy, if he has confessed. But so, that boy, that boy too stubborn. Upon everything we don't do, and the boy no one talk the truth. I pity him. Because if I should lay my hands on him, he will not forget the day he was born. Ah, come on, do. the boy now. Why you go lay your hand on? Where will he here? Where? You know what? Take him to the torture room. Tosa! Otilo. Are you ready to send me truth? 
너도 있어 나도 원하고 있구나 나도 있어 So what happened to Amanda? Yes sir I loved her with my whole life I can't know her to Amanda You did not kill her? Yes sir Consider yourself dead if you don't want to say the truth. So speak. I did I did it, sir. So tell me, how did it happen? You poison her drink. How did you get the poison? to understand the meaning of what you did. Getting married to her is going to be the biggest mistake. Tochi, you have sacrificed a lot for that girl to make her who she is today. So I don't think it's right to give up at this point. I shouldn't have spoken to her about marriage. But no one forced you to do. You willingly started prophesizing love. And after a while, you start talking about marriage. Why are you not acting as if someone pushed you to propose to her? Well, I just realized it's not the right one for me. Yeah. I realized that I can't be with her. She's not the right person for me. Have you thought about what you stand to lose? If the father found out that you're no longer interested, he may reduce your benefit in the company as a son-in-law to be. That's the problem now. Listen. You still have enough money and connection that can fix you in a recruitive business. That is if you are smart enough to use what you have and get what you want. Frank, I made a mistake and I've learned from them. Um, Ma, he has finally said the truth. I said it. That boy is green snake in a green Grass. The idiot poisoned her drink. Hi. What did my innocent daughter do to him? We all took him as our own. We provided him with whatever he needs. Oh, Hodinaka, why would you cause us this kind of pain? Eh? Well, according to him, he said his father gave him the poison. What? Yes. Hi! This is unbelievable. Why would my uncle? Mom, I am not surprised. I am not surprised at all. I keep saying it, but you people will not listen to me. Let your father come back home and hear this. So Orinaka killed my daughter. Lies. Lies, mother. I have told you to leave that innocent boy alone. Leave him alone. But he confessed with his mouth. Young lady, if you doubt me whether to come to the office, I will bring him before you and make him to speak. Oh. I am professional in this job. Liar. I can't lay a false accusation on him. Liar. That is what you are. You think I don't know what you people are doing in that your office? 
You think I don't know how you operate? How you make innocent people confess to offense they know nothing about? If you do not change for this animalistic job of yours, you will meet your Waterloo very soon. Mm? Watch your tongue. You are talking to the commander. <laughs> commander, my boss. I can shut up. Please, please, please do not shut me up. Allow me to address this idiot very well. Yes, it is not right for you to just make people do confess to things they know nothing about. It is an offense that is punishable by the law if you do not know. Don't worry. One day, the souls of all those innocent people you have killed will come for your heart. But for now, you will get up from that sofa and get out of my father's house. How dare you? How dare you? My friend, get out! Get out! Rick and Shane, you, you, you just have to calm, calm down. You heard him confess, you heard him say that Odinaka confessed to killing Amanda. Oh, please calm down. Have you been on the streets? Do you know how the streets works? Well, I know because I've been there. I know these people, I know how they think. They can make an innocent person confess to killing 200 persons when that person can actually not hurt a fly. So do not tell me what I know. Mother, you have to let that boy go. Mother, if you do not let that boy go, I will bring down this house and I will set it ablaze. You know what I am capable of. Try me. Rika, please, you so don't say this. Oh. Mother, we will not allow him go. He killed our sister. Uh -uh. What is it? He poisoned Amanda. Let him go where? He must pay for his sin. Commander, I am sorry. Please. I am sorry for what happened to the other time. No one talks to me that way and goes free. I only keep calm because of the respect I have for you. Please, I'm sorry. You know children of nowadays. Just find a place in your heart to forgive him, Biko. Mama, you know you are the only shade she has. You need to let her know that she will not always get away with such rubbish. Uh, please, just forgive her. Please, I beg you. Um, have this. Bad dream for yourself and your boys. You're always on point. See, Mama. I'm at your service. Anything you want, I will do it for you. Okay, please, I, I want him released. Mama, I hope you are not being pressed against your wish. No, no, not at all. You know, he is my husband's uh, cousin, so we decided to settle the matter in our family. Okay, I will always grant your wish, as long as I'm still in charge. Mama, mama. Thank you so much. Mama, I believe you. I know what you can do. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Mama, this stick. Just manage it again. It's all good. Mama, you go. Come here, come here, go. What happened? I don't understand. What guy not they respond now? Me look like they think of Now wait till they think. But I don't mind. It's wrong. You do the two days. You do the two days. Come on. How? Me look better they think. This guy don't mind.
Commander, please, stop this joke. Go and bring him out. I want to take him home. A small bit too. That boy not supposed to die. And I sleep in the sleep when I leave and come out. Eh? I don't sleep in the sleep when I don't sleep in the sleep. Please, 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 I beg you. Don't put me in trouble. Commander, go and bring him out. So I want to see him. Terrible night smell about Otinaka. Even this afternoon, I had a very terrible dream about him. I saw him in my dream too, and in that dream, he was flying away. I was calling him to come back, he didn't even look back. I have been calling his number, but it is not connecting. Continue calling him, we need to know how he's faring. Now, it's not better you go and see him. You can go tomorrow and still come back the same day. I don't know why I'm having this feeling. I don't know why. I think something is not well with him. My son is fine. I'm already heard me. My son is fine. There he goes. It's the last thing I do about it. Just relax. Hey, hey, man, let's do it fast. Don't worry, we'll do something about it. Amanda, why are you crying again? He is innocent. What are you talking about? They should not kill him. Else, their punishment will be doubled. Are you talking about Odinaka? No man should kill another for revenge. Any revenge that spills blood is a sin, and karma doesn't forgive. Are you talking about Odinaka? Yes. My soul is restless. And my killer will not see light. Who killed you? Don't! Oh, Mom, you're back. So. Are you okay? What is it? I am finished. Your father will kill me when he returns. Mom, what did you do? 
He's dead. Ah! Who is dead? Ah! Please calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, please. Don't allow your sister to hear about it. If not, she will kill me before your father comes back. Pico, pico, pico. Put me. Put me. What did they do to him? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Hey! But the knocker is gone, no? Come on, the knocker is gone, no? What are you going to do? I don't know. This is big trouble, big one. Big trouble! Big one. Hey! The I don't even know how to think. I what don't did they know do what to do. What, to do. Do. what did they do to him? Commander, lock up. Mom, you are in trouble. I don't even know what to do. Mama. Yes? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, who, who, who you did find? Oh, but not cut mother. Oh. Th thank God you're here. Mm. No, oh. Mm. Child. Biko, mother no here. Let me let me Hey. Hey. Welcome, oh. Oh, Thank you. Uh, 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 you took us on our way. Be going when you were. I am sorry I didn't think I was coming. Oh. <sighs> but don't bother. Uh, I also go back. I just came to know how people are doing. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Auntie, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. How is there some cheer, and my uncle? They are fine. They sent their greetings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey. Um, <laughs> hey, let me get you some. Mbam, mbam. Hey, Mba. Don't bother yourself. I didn't tell you I was coming, so don't bother about what to give me. Uh, no, I mean, how can you come here and not take anything? <laughs> Let me get you, even if it's a glass of water. Uh, well, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I'm coming. You're welcome. Biko, um, come back my son, Odenaka. Where is he and how is he doing? Oh, uh, oh. Odinaka, uh, uh, he, uh, I, I, he, he went, uh, I sent her, uh, uh, I, I sent him on an errand. He will soon be back. Eh. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Oh, Maka. Uh, Maka uh, Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. I'm a Narodi. I'm a Narodi. No. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, Eh? They are fine. They are fine. Okay. My, uh, let me get you something to eat from the kitchen. Mm -mm. Hey, I told you not to bother yourself. It's a You know go. Let me get you something to eat. What will I get you now? Uh, uh, I think you like it. Uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, chicken. 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 Hey, hey oh my God. <laughs> Chicken. I don't like ya. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone likes chicken. Or coco. <laughs> Hey, and um, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. This house is very beautiful. Hi. I wish it's my husband that has this kind of money. Finished. Hey. Oh. Hey. hey, I am finished. This is trouble. Oh. Big trouble. Big trouble. <gasps> she's here. I think she's here to see her, her son. Eh? Yes. Hey. Uh, what hey. did you tell her? I don't even know what I answered. Uh, but I think she's having the feeling of what happened. Yes. Hey. hey. I even told her I want to get her chicken. Yeah? And being fully aware that we don't have chicken in this house. Oh my God, save me. No. Oh, what are we oh, Let me think of something. Let me just think of something. Yes, Mom. I have an idea. Yes. Let us tell her her son traveled abroad with Dad and that they will be back in a few days' time. That's a good idea. Okay. But what about your sister? I hope she will not come and spoil things for us. I don't even know. Since she came back, she has been in her room crying. 
I don't know what is wrong with her eye. God save me from this mess. Mom, let's go and tell her. I think this will work. Yeah. God save me. Save me from this mess. It's okay. Come. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, what's there is chicken in this house? Yeah. Forgive me. Hey, just children. Hold this. Oh, hi. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Darling, I appreciate. Thank you so much. Maybe I can never. The day is fast running down. Maybe I can never. You are right. Please. My regards to your husband. Mm. He will hear. Please greet my uncle. Uh, I will tell him. Mana, uh, I need to see him before I go to know how he's doing. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, we already might forgot to tell you. When my husband wanted to travel, he insisted on going with him. Yes. So my husband took him along. Uh, he traveled to abroad with my father. <laughs> and they will soon be back. Or the Nakam Wam travel to Bodo Ivo. Yes, I even escorted them to the airport. Mm. I watched him step into the aeroplane. Or the Nakam by aeroplane. He entered aeroplane going to abroad, and when he's coming back, he will enter aeroplane and come back. Oh, do we go? Hey! I can't wait to get home to tell my husband and his sister. Not Nakam Wam knows you do you go. Hey! thank you very much. We heard him. We heard him. Dalorine. God bless you. God bless you and your husband for taking care of my family. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, I'll add it to your transport. Yes. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, husband. Uh, I will. Uh -oh. My regards to my uncle. I will tell <laughs> him. Oh, I will tell Let him. Oh, no. Hey! Let me see you Hey! Let me see you I will go. 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 Don't worry, I'm, I'm coming to attention. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my children of these days. After consuming plenty food, they will go and sleep and start having useless dreams. Eh, eh, what? 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 Amy, are you okay? What is wrong with you? I'm so angry. Eh? You're so angry. Wait. Did she say anything to you? Yeah. I feel like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you sure?
monk. Are you sure he's dead? I trust you. The thing is false. He is not dead. People's commander appeared to me. I said we should save him. He is still alive. Oh, 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 You shouldn't have involved them in the first place. Save me from this mess. Come on, we need to go and save him. We need to go. How dare you, Commander? How dare you do that? Do you know it is totally wrong and illegal? For you to execute someone that has not been proven guilty by a court of competent jurisdiction. Do you know that? Listen, we did not kill him. He died on detection. That's a lie. That's a lie. You and your boys tortured him to death. Anyway, that is by the way. I am here to take his body. No need for that. He's dead already. Commander, I will not beg you for you to release his body to me because whatsoever you do or say is being recorded. And when the time comes, trust me, you will explain all your actions. You will. Are you threatening me or what? No, I have not come to threaten you. But be rest assured that this atrocity will not be swept under the carpet. No, it will not. Now for the second time, I need you to release the body of my cousin, whom you and your boys tortured to death. I want to take him to the hospital at once. Hey, <laughs> they told me your brother traveled abroad to the Naka. Hey, hey. Are you serious? It's your food. Wow! <laughs> I am so so happy and excited. In fact, no man can go with you. In fact, he will come back a rich man. Hey! Ebube is really pushing me to the world. Why will he travel with my son out of this country without first informing me? Yeah, nah. They just went for vacation. They will soon be back. Vacation. And okay, so yeah. Is that why I am not told? Is my son we are talking about here? I'm taking things serious. I am taking things too serious. It's all right. I shall inform the elders. Hey, you don't go more like that. There's no button to that. There's eh? no button to that. <laughs> but Odinaka did not tell us he is traveling. Even if Uncle did not tell us, his number stopped connecting. Hey, I was also thinking about that thing when I was coming back. Oh. Because normally, but Naka tells me everything that happens to him. He even told me his uncle was traveling to Budo Ibu, but he never said he was traveling with his uncle. I just hope they told you the truth. I hope nothing has happened to my brother. No, nothing will happen to my son. But nothing. What the heck are you What the heck are you You see her feelings all the time. Um, I really don't know how to answer that. Why are you sounding like this? Are you afraid in your own house? Frank, the truth is, I... I don't have feelings for her anymore. Um, I strongly believe that... I might regret everything if I end up with her. I don't understand. You know this girl before proposing to her? Or is there something you recently discovered? Frank, I keep discovering new things. Trust me, if you hear what this girl said about herself, you run away from her. Sincerely. Tochi, you know that girl lived a reward life. In fact, you met her 
living a reward life. As a matter of fact, you are the one who turned her to who she is today. So what is that thing that you discover that makes you feel you can marry her? Frank, um, you see, there's a certain way I want my woman to be. Don't get it twisted. Rika is a beautiful woman. She's tall, she's intelligent, she's sexy. But we just don't connect. Besides, she has a dirty past. Her past is too dirty for my liking. I mean, we can be friends and... So, don't you tell me, what are those dirty things you think you can't deal with? So, um, I feel like Mimi is too young to be your mother's daughter. I mean, your mother is too old to have a child her age. Don't you think so? Well, Mimi is not my sister. She's my daughter. What? Uh -huh. You never mentioned that to me. Well, I can't possibly tell you everything about me at once. You know, with time, you get to know me better. Do you hate me for that? Oh no, come on now, no. how can you say that? No, of course I don't, I don't hate you. I love you <laughs> and uh, we're stuck together. Yes, we are stuck together. Mm -hmm. And I am one lucky woman, blessed to have you. <laughs> Same here, I'm blessed to have you. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you for your understanding. Hands up. I love you. I love you too. Babe, what's going on now? Talk to me. Uh, my stomach... My stomach aches... aches badly. But babe, we just got back from the hospital the other time. Why are you having this reoccurring stomach ache? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's my past. Your past? Maybe my past is haunting me. What has your past got to do with this? What do you mean your past? They, they have had series of abortions and they passed. They... What? Like how many? How many times? Maybe 17 or 20 I have, I've lost count. I just hope God would forgive me. Did I hear you say 20 times? Hey! Baby! Ah! Babe! Stop shouting now. Sorry. It's... Ha! It hurts. Wait. Um, you had 17 abortions from one man and he didn't marry you? <laughs> it wasn't from one man. It was a series of men. <sighs> my past, my past is just so horrible. I just... Maybe I shouldn't have proposed to her. This is not the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. I can't marry a girl like that. No. I can't end up with a woman like that. Who knows what she's been doing behind my back? I mean, don't you tell us. Have you told her about your recent decision? But you know I can't do that, man. I can't get myself to tell her parents about my decision. I, I, I feel like I'm going to lose everything. Dochi, I strongly believe that things will work out between you two. Don't leave this girl now. The truth is, I, I can date her. I can, you know, make her my girlfriend, but I can't marry her. That's my challenge. Listen. The person you may see as an angel may have more skeleton in her cupboard that you can never imagine. Touch the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. She's a complete woman. She's a kind of woman every man prays to have as a wife. You're right. She's a good woman. 
then what is haunting you? I'm not yeah? sure. I, I don't know how I got myself into this mess. This man has put me into trouble. Wait. Which man are you talking about? What mess? You won't understand. You won't understand. Touch is very obvious you don't want to tell me what the problem is. But I suggest you speak so we can get you help. I never knew things would turn out like this, honestly. You know what? I think you, you need a therapist. Maybe you feel comfortable telling him everything. Let me take you there. Because it will cost more money bringing him here. Frank. I'd rather spend my entire money to get help than face public embarrassment. Public embarrassment? What are you talking about? Don't you what is going on? Because you are beginning to scare me. Tochi. Things are beginning to get ugly. Why do I always find myself on the spot? Why me? Why? Old wounds are beginning to bleed again. I have washed my hands off the dust. But life, life is forcing my hands back into the dust. But this time, this time, I will leave no stone unturned. What is the meaning of this? I warned you. I warned you. Why did you allow the devil to possess you this much? I warned you, but you will not listen. I warned you that you cannot heal your wound on your toe by cutting off your leg, but you didn't listen. I am sorry. I am sorry, my husband. Will you stop that and stop telling me you're sorry after I warned you? Now, now that he is dead, where is Amanda? No, just tell me, where is Amanda? Is Amanda back right now? I never asked them to kill him. I did not ask Commander to kill him. I only asked him to torture him so that the truth will come out. And now that you have spilled the meek while looking for who spilled the, the, the honey, are you ready? No, are you okay? Are you ready for court cases? Are you ready for village meetings, name callings, and swearing before the village deity? No, just tell me. My husband. No, no, tell me. Are you, are you ready for the enmity that will last? For generation that are our children, brace up. No, brace up. Continue. Study. Let them know. My husband, I am so sorry. It's just that no mother will watch her daughter die just like that without finding what killed her. No. I did not ask Commander to kill him. Brace up. Just brace up and get ready for all that you have planned. Brace it up. Everybody, hey, what happened to Amanda? What is this? Are you going to answer my question or you want me to do the unthinkable? What did you do to my sister, Amanda? Hey, please don't do this to me. I, I, I have been a good father. I, I, I gave you everything that you deserve. I gave you the best education, took you the best school, gave you a job, and I, 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 I gave you money. And, oh, and you I, shut up! Shut up and answer the question. What did you do to my sister? How did you kill her? Did you eat her heart? What did you do to her? Where did you get her from? Rika! Me? Where did you get her from? I didn't kill 
kill my daughter. Then what did you do to her? I didn't kill her. So what did you do to her? Just tell me what you did to my sister. And I didn't do anything. What did you do to her? Look at If you do not leave this place this minute, I am going to start with you. Just get out! Get out of here! Stop! 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 Hello, Pastor Johnson. Cherika has gone violent again. As we speak, she's threatening her father with a knife. Oh, not again. I will be there in three minutes. Oh, please be fast. Be fast, please. Please. What is going on? What is happening in my family? What is going on? Oh my God. God, please help me. Help me. Hey. Her spirit is restless. Restless. Her spirit is restless. There's an evil spirit in this house. She keeps flogging me. Who flogged you? The little girl, Amanda. What are you saying? See, Doji, calm down. Eh? What are you saying? Just kill your fears, man. I am here to help. Huh? You can help me? Are you trying to say you can help me stop her from tormenting me? Definitely, I'm going to help you to solve whatever that is troubling you, only if you can trust me. Wait. Wait, if I trust you, are you trying to say if I trust you, you can help me stop her from coming here? Sure. Can we go inside? No, 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 I can't go inside. Don't even say that again. I'm not going to go inside. I'm not going inside. No, I can't do that. Kadoji, what did you do to this girl that she's always after you? I don't know. I was nice to her when she was alive. I don't know why she keeps tormenting me like this. Yo, you're just having a mere hallucination. We can solve this thing out. Excuse me? Come on, bro. I'm an adult. I'm, I'm a grown man. I, I, I know when something is right and when something is not. You, you can't call this hallucination. I'm not, I'm not dreaming. This is, she, she keeps flogging me. If you help her, why should, why would she be flogging you? Yeah? I don't understand. See, we're going to solve this thing out. Here, today. But we can't stand here, so can we just go inside? Uh, Dochi, he said we should go inside, so lead the way. The little girl keeps tormenting me. I don't know what I've done to her. I don't know what I did. What have I done to her? I was nice to her when she was alive. Are you asking me? No, if you ask me, who will I ask? Did I not tell you to get out? Did I not tell you to get out? I told you to get out. I told you to get out. I told you to get out. What did you do to my sister? What did you do to my sister? What did you do to your sister? You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. You used her for money ritual! I never did. I never did. All the money I made, I made from hard work and the help of God. I have never been a ritualist. Then that's a lie. That's a big lie. So why did you do anything about her death? Why have you been quiet? Why are you quiet about her death? I, I didn't want to get myself into revenge and I hate revenge. Believe me, please. I do not believe you. You better speak now, else I'll just... What are you doing? What, what are you doing? You want to kill your father? Killing your father will never ever bring your sister back to life. 
you will end up losing more people. Above all, you will be guilty of murder. Your father's blood will forever be found on your hands. Believe me, dear, you will regret it. You will live the rest of your life regretting it. Rika, you do not have right to take a life because you do not give life. It is an abomination in the sight of God. Please, hand me the knife. Rika, please hand me the knife. Please. Yes, my Rika, please. Rika, please. Rika, please. 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 What is going on? I don't know. Just calm down. You see, no matter how wrong put your life has become, it can still be okay. Only if you're ready to correct your mistakes. My brother, I've tried to correct my mistakes, but I really don't know how I got into this mess. But it looks like the more I try, the more I get into more trouble. You just have to open up to me. You see, that was the reason why I sent Frank away, so that if there's anything you want to tell me, you can say it. Tell me your story, how it all started. I feel like God has forsaken me. God has abandoned me. He has forgotten about everything I have gone through in my life. Because if he hasn't, why would he let me go through this? You see, you need to be calm. Really, you need to be calm. Tell me your story. Together we can find a way to sort this thing out. I lost my mother shortly after my birth. I spent almost all my life with my father. But unfortunately for him, he became sick. I sold everything he had to pay hospital bills. But sadly, he passed away. I was left with no option but to stay with my uncle. Toji, when your father was sick, I told you to stop selling his properties. But you will not listen to me. You thought maybe I was wishing your, your father death. Now that you have taken everything, you've sold his two portions of land. As if that wasn't enough, you went ahead to sell his only house. And now, you are coming back to me to ask me if you can stay with me. Uncle, mm -hmm. you know how much I loved my father. Mm -hmm. I didn't want him to die. But unfortunately, he did. Mm -hmm. And the only way I could have saved him was to sell those lands. But I feel bad that unfortunately my father died. What do you want me to do? Okay. Now that you have wasted all the resources that you would have used to start your own life on him and still you could not save him, what is the way forward? Uncle, I came to plead with you. I was told you're moving into the, the new house with your family. Mm -hmm. So please, allow me to stay here. I Just allow me to stay here so I can find my feet. Give oh. me some time. I, I, I believe I, I'm going to bounce back, please. If I refuse now, the whole world will call me a wicked man. But between me and my God, I know that I am not wicked. No problem. I will allow you to stay. Okay? You will stay. You will stay, but you must be ready to follow me to the farm. 
you know I'm a farmer and you don't have any job now. So you will follow me to the farm. Besides that also, you will run other house errands. Are you listening to me? No problem, sir. Beautiful. That's very good. Now, this house that you're coming to come and stay, also, you must keep it very clean. All the time. All the time. And then you must be very careful. Because anything you destroy in this house, you pay for it. But Uncle, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a careless person now. Why, why, are you, why are you making me look like a bad person? Did you hear what I said? No problem, sir. Thank you. And it's not just no problem. Anyone they tell you, say no problem. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. That's not what I'm here for. I'm going to make you to put pen to paper. You will sign for me. Sign for what again? That all these things that I have said, that you have agreed to them. It hasn't got into that now. No, it has got it. Because of tomorrow. So that you remain authentic. Okay, tomorrow now, when I call you, you will say, ah, how did it happen? Okay, no problem, I've heard you. So, you go and get your things, you can come and stay. Hmm? This door is still locked. Is this boy not awake yet? Yeah? Dochi! 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 Huh? Let's see again. Good morning. You mean you are still in bed? Yes, sir. What's the yes, sir? Uh -huh. So, this is how you're going to find out your feet that you said you want to stay here and find? Uncle Boy, it's too early to go out now. I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping. It's too early to go out. Young man, Dikai, it's too early for you to go out. An old man like me, I'm already here. Prepare to go to my farm. My friend, let's go to the farm. Uncle Boy, what am I supposed to do for you at the farm? When we go to the farm, you know now. She means they go to the farm to go and uh, play. Okay, when we get there? It's too early now. It's too early to go to the farm. Okay. I now see how useless you want to become. Hmm? You have forgotten the adage that there is no food for a lazy man. You think this is how I sit down in the house and food will come? The food that you have been eating? But uncle, it's too early to go to the farm. Who goes to the farm at this time? If you continue like this, I will be forced to reduce your number of stay in this household. Uncle, it hasn't got into that. Please. It has got into that. Just one, 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 one day to the farm now. You are, you are, you are, you are come, 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 let me get my hat. Get your hat and come and carry this hoe and this, uh, the home got last. You, you, you think it is easy to, to, to put food on the table? It's often an obstacle. To those who wants to lay Oh, what a day Oh, we do have a good day But we have a good day We have a good day We have a good day Oh, we do have a good day But we have a good day We have a good day This life is not fair to me my condition, let me change my heart. This is love. I want you to be strong. To be strong. Don't fall into this temptation. Don't you, you mean you are still on this uh, 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 small portion of uh, 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 this cassava that I, I asked you to be cutting this morning? I thought by now you would have finished here and then moved on to the other side now. That's where the major work is. Uncle, which side? Over there. The other side? Yes. No. Ah. I'm sorry, I can't do the other side, Uncle. Uncle, it is too much for me. Ah, ah. Uncle, we have to get a heavy duty machine to clear that side. Tochi? Heavy duty machine? Yes. When I was about your age, 
this small portion that you are seeing now, I would have finished the whole of this place and moved over to that other side. Now you are telling me a eh, 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 machine. Uncle, I'll try to finish this part. But I'm sorry, I can't do the other part. We have to get a tractor to clear that part. That farm is too big for me. Richie, let me tell you. You must make sure you finish this portion before this evening. Uncle, I'll try my best, but I'm hungry. Let me tell you. You must try and finish this place before evening. As per hungry, who is why he's still working? Uh, Uncle, who eats once in a day after doing all this hard labor? What do you mean? Uncle, why are you treating me like this? Okay. My father didn't treat me like this when he was alive. Are you not supposed to be my father's brother? Now I see that you want to become useless completely. No problem. You don't want to work for me again. When you get home, pack your bag and make sure you leave my house before tomorrow. Uncle, I don't understand why you're treating me like this. I've been, I've been working here since morning. I, 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 you, you refuse to give me food. Who is who wants a day after doing all this hard labor? Leave me alone. You want to? Want to uh, uh, machine to come and help you to work? Your 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 your, your fathers in, in their own day. The day you start to work. Oh, my father did not treat me like this. What, what do you mean? You are looking for machine to, to, to co come and do your work. I, I will not clear your farm. I, I will not clear your farm. Go, go, go and get the tractor to clear. No problem. Just pack your things when you get home and go. I have tried. Pack your things. Pack everything. You are telling me pack your things. Pack your things. I think you are the only one who owns the house. I went through a lot. He frustrated me. Well, I, I thought he was being helpful. Waking you up very early every morning and making you walk a lot. I mean, that just sounds like being trained. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't getting paid. I did all the hard labor without getting paid. I mean, how, how can that be? Uh, how were you able to feed? I almost died of hunger. Until God sent Ginika my way. Ginika saved my life. This life is not fair to me. I am suffering. Good evening. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm tired. Looks like you've been monitoring me. How did you know I'm back? My mother said she saw you on your way back home. Oh. So I thought I should bring you food. Because I know you must be very hungry by now. Thank you. You're welcome. What's inside? Right. I made your favorite. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're just a bad character. Hmm. Yeah. I've been hungry. That stupid man refused to give me food to eat. I don't know why he keeps treating me like this. I don't know. My love, I have told you to stop working for that man. There are plenty of people that are ready to pay you handsomely for your services. So why are you wasting your time and energy? He has been threatening to throw me out of his house if I stop working for him. That is so wicked of him. Why is he being this heartless towards you? Baby, are you sure you've not in any way offended him? I haven't. It's a long story. You see, when my father was sick, I went to him for financial assistance. Okay. He refused to give me. He said I should leave my father in the house to die and prepare for his burial. I couldn't do that, so I sold all my father's properties to take care of his hospital bills. It is against our tradition. It is prohibited to sell my father's properties, that my father is his brother, that nobody does that in our family. 
But I couldn't allow my father to die. I had to do that because I wanted to save my father. But unfortunately, my father died. Since my father died, that man has treated me like a stranger. He keeps making life horrible for me. I don't understand that man at all. What kind of a person is he? Like he refused to give you money to take your father to the hospital. And then again wants you not to sell the land because it's prohibited in his tradition, according to him. He's so heartless and wicked. But you know one thing I like about life? It is unpredictable. No one knows the head that will wear the crown tomorrow. You see all this evil thing he has been doing to you. I know that God will pay him in his own coin and his children will suffer from it too. So don't stress yourself. I also pray that he lives to see how great you become to me. I pray God remembers me someday. God does not forget us. He definitely will remember you. In fact, he has remembered you. So don't you stress yourself. Oh. Yeah, please go in there and get me water. Okay. Oh, where to This life is not fair to me. I, come. I am suffering. Temptation no. they make people fall. I feel for Temptation they make people fall. My condition let me change my heart. To you. I come. Are you okay? Temptation they make people See. I just noticed that uh, the other hoe has become very small. So I went to get this one so that he can help you do the work properly. Uncle, mm -hmm. did you not hear what I said? Don't you have human sympathy? I told you I'm not feeling well. My entire body hurts. So you, you, you don't start to behave like a woman. When a man falls sick, he goes into his house. He picks his cutlass. And then he goes into the farm. Or inside the bush, rather. He cuts some herbs. He comes back to his house. He prepares them and it becomes medicine. And he takes it. And before anybody in the village will even know that that person is sick, I'll already go in Yawa. But look at you. You're here yelling because you want me to give you breast. Can you get a game? It was a game, And listen to me very good. I am living for the farm now. And I don't want to get there before you. If I get to that farm and you are not there yet, the kind of reaction that you will see from me, you will not like it. And uh, I'll pack out of your house. No problem. To those who wants to lay Oh, what do they do? Oh, we to have a good day But we 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 have a good day Your body is hot What is wrong with you? I'm not feeling well Have you had something to eat? No have you had any drugs? No. What are you doing with you? I said, what are you doing with Tochi? Why are you always taking care of him? He's my friend. He's your friend? That is the kind of friend that you want to have. 
How can you have such a friend that cannot even take care of your needs? Nay. I know he has nothing. But I love him the way he is. Then you must be very stupid. In fact, you are very foolish. You love him the way he is. Love. In fact, leave my sight. I said leave my sight, or I could never. Nah, you just insulted me. And what will you do? You get him if That's just leave forever. I don't like this kind of thing. No, so no, 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 no. Wicked man. Only God will reward you for this. Mama. My dear. Um, Ginika told me you gave her some money some, to buy some drugs for me. I want to thank you. God bless you so much. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Mama. And I know you're getting better now. I, I feel a lot better, Mama. Good. I'm a mother. Yes, I'm a mother. It is good for me to have a compassionate heart to everyone around me. My sons are not close to me. And I don't know what they are going through wherever they are now. So when I pray to God to favor them, I will also favor the people around me. So that God will answer my prayer. Mama, my dear. God will keep rewarding you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Nah, no, okay, okay. No. Aju. Anybody that owns a chicken that likes to fly around will always hold the fowl and cut its feathers. You see your daughter? I am begging you. Is that that you clip her feathers? or you cut it off before she flies on top of my head. With all due respect, sir, do not refer to me as a chicken. I won't tolerate you walk into my father's compound to insult me. Never. You see? You see that thing I'm talking about? Did you just hear your daughter? This is exactly the way she insulted me the other day. This same girl, Jenica. Um, please, forgive her. She will not try it again. No. Yes, she will not try it again. Please forgive her. Mama, I will not try Shut what up. again. Leave me. I will not try what again. I know you hate the truth. The truth is like a bitter pill for you, but I will keep forcing it down your throat. Mazio Keke, change from treating your nephew like a slave. Stop being evil and wicked. It is me that you are talking to like that. Eh? Please, I don't know what has come over my eh? daughter. As for you, Tochi, you are the reason this little girl is talking to me like this. But there's no problem. As for you, little girl, keep flying. Be flying around the whole place. Keep sticking to the cops. I will not tell you what will happen to you until you get there. God forbid. Oh, not my daughter. Mama, Biko, leave Go this man. Ah, uh, what is it? Go forbid. Well, 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 since I knew him, from when he was young, he has been like this. So don't expect him to change. He can never change. Mama, if I had somewhere else to go, trust me, I won't return to that house. I won't. My dear, I know God must surely make a way where there is no way for you. God that created you will not allow you to continue like this. Amen. Never. Amen. 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 As for you, Geneka, I have told you that this man, Okeke, is dangerous. He is a bad man. Everybody knows him in this village. Stay away from him. Biko. Hmm. Hey. 
What is the meaning of this? This man now. What do I do now? What nonsense is this? Why did he lock the door? How do I get in? I have to do something about this. I can't keep living my life like this. I had to leave the village, although I had nowhere to go. I had no money on me, but I had to decide on what path to follow. To either remain in the village and die, or seek greener pastures in the city. Yeah, that was a very heavy step that you took. I mean, you, you didn't even tell your uncle that you were leaving. I couldn't tell him. I'm sure he was expecting me to plead with him as usual, but I couldn't do that. I broke the door, packed my things and left. Okay, fine. So, when you left the village, where did you find yourself? In the slums, in the city. The scariest moment of my life. I met Frank Hawking. I told him about my predicament and he decided to help me. He offered me a home, a very, very poor home. But then I couldn't complain because at that point in my life, it meant everything to me. So my guy, now here they manage you. Understand? I know get house now. Here they manage. Now three bedroom. But the main room they don't put a window. You understand? So I hope so you go like him. I I I don't have a choice. A beggar does not have a choice. <laughs> no, normally you don't get choice now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, one more thing. I beg. I'm a very peaceful person. For this area, they know me, so I know they find trouble. So no put me for trouble. I beg, I take No, 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 I'm a peaceful person as well. Though. I don't I don't look for trouble. Nice one. Okay. And but bro, I, I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. where can I have my bath? <laughs> ah, by street too. Huh? By jump away. Jump bath? Yeah, yeah, jump away. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Very early in the morning, you come out here, take your shower before they go break. You understand? And if you come back at night, you shower when it's dark. In the middle of the road. Yes, now I street today now. <laughs> you went back for jacuzzi before. You know why? <laughs> I beg go. Okay, uh, what about um, if I want to use the toilet? Ah, on a bush wheel. On a bush wheel. Sir? We find bush enter. Go rugged and there. If you know see bush, you go use nylon. Enter there. If you do finish, you fling and enter bush. I saw the run of my guy. Understand? You can make her and show you where to keep your back. Okay. I never knew 
some people could live like animals in the city. Life in the village would have been a lot better if I had freedom. Because it is better to live like a free man in the village than to live at the Buckingham Palace as a slave. Life in the city was very low. But then, it brought a lot of freedom and a ray of hope to me. Uh, so, how long did it take you to adapt? <laughs> I did not. I could not. It was impossible for me to adapt. I kept working hard because that was the only option I had. I started with a bricklaying job so I could raise some money to do other petty businesses. That is really interesting. I, I really admire your fighting spirit. I mean, you made this strong decision never to fail, but to succeed. My friend, I had to do what I had to do. I had to work extra hard because I knew there was no place to call home. Listen, to me, it wasn't a case of go hard or go home. It was a case of go hard or die trying. Retreat was never an option for me. I brought you here so that you can open up to me. You went overboard. I mean, why would you develop such animosity against your own father? You would have stabbed him to death if we had not intervened. Why do you have such hatred? My father created this monster. Those people showed me dark wickedness. What exactly did he do to you that made you hate him this much? Well, they killed the good girl I once was growing up. They are heartless. They were mean to me. They abandoned and rejected me on the streets when I needed them the most. You mean your father sent you out into the street? What did you do to him? I've been warning you. I've been warning you that if you get pregnant out of wedlock, I will disown you. The problem is that she doesn't even know who God happened. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! You are a big disgrace. And you are not going to carry that pregnancy in my house. So you have to leave my house. Please, Daddy. You have to leave my house. Daddy, please, please, Daddy. I don't have anywhere else to go. Where do I go to? I have nowhere else to go. You have nowhere to go. What about the man that got you pregnant? He's a student. He doesn't have a house. Oh, he says he's a student. A student. He does not have a house, but he has a manhood that will be entering every hole. And you have the legs that will be opening everywhere. I'm sorry, mommy. Mommy, please help me. Don't you shut up your mouth. Don't even mention mommy. You want to bring disgrace to this family, but it will not work for you. Shameless girl. You will not carry this pregnancy in this house, and I want you to leave this house right away. I said, leave this house right away. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please. I said leave because I don't care where you go to, whether you go to moon or you go to any planet or whatsoever, I want you to leave this house. Okay. Rika, I'm ashamed of you. Look at you. I can't even have, I can't, I can't wait for you. Uh, I need to leave. Okay, okay. Stop! Okay, let me get my feet. No way, way. no How way. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't have anything in my phone. Go, 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 go.
So as it stands now, my father has disowned me. Me, his own daughter. Well, it's fine. It's fine. I am definitely not going back. Never. I will face life here alone by myself. That was how I was left alone on the streets to stray like a dog. I was made to fend for myself all by myself. I hated them so much. The more I roamed on the streets by myself, the, the more the bitterness in my heart grew. I met, I met some street boys that introduced me to drinking, smoking, and all sort of hard drugs. You mean you did all that with your pregnancy? Yes. I almost died when I had my baby. When I got into labor, the boys took me to the hospital. They called my father. He came. He tried to support me. Paid the hospital bills, but... That doesn't fix anything. You can't just... Mend broken bottles. For a very long time, we have been looking for you. Thank God you are here. Mm. You have been looking for me. I lost. We know we we made mistakes. Moments that you left, we started thinking if we had handled it better than we did. Mm. We apologize for that. Mm. Mm. You open your eye like this, carry your bow, cast the top river. You they look the bow, river carry and they go. Now you won't make the river carry the bow. Come back, come give you. What be juju be that? I'm not too funny, well, well. Sherika, we are sorry for putting you through all this. It's just that we felt that you disappointed us with your actions. Don't worry. We'll make it up, okay? My daughter, please. Um. I'll try to make uh, the documents ready so you can join your brothers in London. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want you to start a new life, a brand new life entirely, okay? Yeah. Eh? So you know I have siblings abroad. Why didn't you send me to them? Because of small mistake why I make. Una set me ablaze. Send me into the streets. Now you want to sow me like a seed. How do you expect me to germinate? Oh, my daughter, please. Surely we will help you to germinate. It's a promise. Ah, beg, ah, beg, ah, beg. Not disturb yourself. Not stress yourself. You see, this is my picking one now, so. When I go help me look at because I don't want my concern. As for me, I'm good. Street is good with me. So, wh wh where are you going now? Ah, I get room for this house. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a place here. Who said so? You remain my daughter. This is your home. This is not the kind of life I I I I wished for you. Say, everybody can I better not make me vessel. Not provoke me, cannot change her for you. What are you trying to say now? You don't want to make her look like sin at my fault, Abby. This is the plan you had for me. And the plan you had for me is good. I'm not complaining. I like it. No problem. My only concern is this child. They're gonna take care of her. Cherika, like Cherika, oh, please. Okay. Please don't say this. Eh? We will put everything right. I promise you we will amend. Please, we will amend everything, Biko. I bet everywhere good though. You see me like this. Me, I be streets. Streets, me. Me, streets. All of us, twins. So I good. The most important thing I like this, speaking. Take care of her. They cry away for night too. They cry when I give her milk. Me like this, I don't come out here. Look after her. I'm a Don't stress the fiat. Find me, give her more. They cry away for night too. Cry 
this world is a sweet place if only My baby, wahala wahala. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. What is this? So, when I shop it, I just go for shop. I go shopping. You say shop? I say I go do cleaning. Shopping. I clean everywhere. <laughs> Calm down. What is this? Calm down. You see this bag like this now? So, I go this for this bag. You say goodies upon goodies. Like this now, eh? We millionaire. No, me and you now we two millionaires. We be <laughs> millionaires. You <laughs> say? Wait first now. Nah. Wait first. This is one. And my mama get her. I want to like with that. So let me go take this one first. You understand? Come down. Make I show you something. Make I show you something. You don't see? You don't see the color? You don't see? You don't. You don't confirm? Now nah, add currency. What's that? I tell you now. After you say those people get money, I go there. I collect her. I move. Your family get money, you. That man get money. That man get money. My own after the collect. If I go there, I go to show them. I go to show them. Hey! Daddy show you. My baby. Now nah, maybe that. My nah. baby. Now nah, maybe that. Now nah. nah, maybe that. You know what I'm saying? It's clear everywhere good. It's clear. Like this now, eh? We don't make them. Yes, we don't make them. We might show you now. Ma show you now. Ma, ma, ma own thing for you now. Check her. Jesus. A diamond. A diamond. My baby. Gold. My baby. You don't know my mama. I'm out of the wear rubbish. We don't make her. Hey, see, God. Oh, that me and my boys. We could go clear these people up. Hey, we have. No, 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 no. Very sure. You see these people now. <laughs> I know how to operate on them. I know how to clean them up. But if they do any, if they do anyhow, we go, you know, we go rock get down. You know how they. We go. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Oh boy! I better carry me come out my go smoke eh? holy. Eh, buddy? Carry. See, let's see what happened at like this night. We enter town. We go paint the town different colors, pink, blue, purple. Who won? Who won? Check out. 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 Who
What jewelry? Did you see me stealing any jewelry? I beg go. I have never stolen Will in my life. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? How can you be stealing things in this house? Has there been any time you asked me for money and I didn't give to you? I don't understand. Do you, do, 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 know, do you know the, 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 the value of those things you've just stolen from, from this house? What is even happening? What did it happen? Did you see me stealing anything? I have never stolen in my life. I don't like when people just gang up against me and just be accusing me for nothing now. I don't like it all. I said shut up and don't talk to me like that. Don't you ever talk to me like that. Do you want me to throw you into prison for, 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 for the rubbish action you have just displayed? <laughs> you say prison? What else you want to do me now? You have thrown me in the street. Take off your phone and call the commissioner of police. Call an American tell and say criminal at your house. You hold on down. Make them come carry me go prison. Eh? Call them now. That's the worst you can do. You have already wrecked my life. So what? What's more? You will not say anything now. You don't go talk. I'm trying to make up for the mistakes that I made by making your life better. Now you are making me to regret every action. Start from regretting that you created this monster. Regret creating this monster first. Wait, you say I like this life I live. You think it makes me happy to live like this? I beg you. What can I stop her more? What can I stop her more? Please. Allow us to help you. Stop causing us pain. Go and bring back my jewelries, I beg you. Please, my I beg you, move your hands, my body. As in waiting now. Care. As in consign. I beg, don't, don't let me change that for you. I don't come up for you, I beg, I'm gonna carry on a matter they go. Wait till they bring her down when they come now. Eh? Wait till happen. Imagine them trying to fix something they ruined by themselves. They were expecting to see their daughter again. Not knowing that their daughter died a long time ago on the streets. No man is a West unless dead. You should have let them help you. No. You don't just ruin something. Wake up one morning and decide to fix it. It doesn't work that way. It is not wrong to mend a broken heart, my dear. It's not as if you don't know that it is more difficult to fix things. Once they are ruined, it is hard. It is always easy to ruin it. That is the more reason why we should consider and think of positive ways to handle things, not just being ruthless. So what happened after? Because I know that at some point you changed. So at what point did you start having a change of mind? Well, I became a nightmare to my parents. I tormented them a lot. And one day, my father laid a curse on me. And that curse kind of saved my life. Okay, so at, at what point did you find wealth? I mean, uh, what comes about the success you're enjoying today? Well, I'd say uh, wealth found me because I didn't really do anything spectacular. I was just going about my normal business. You see, um, one philosophy about life is that wealth don't come independently. You can make money with solo effort, but the story will still be incomplete if there's no individual involved. You're right. Because that fateful day, someone called my attention and I, I nearly didn't look at her because of how she looked. She looked very rough and unkept, so. But after that moment, my life changed.
um, Chief, um, good, good afternoon, sir. Good, um, good. Return my money right away. I said, return my money right now. Me? How? I don't take your money now. What are you talking about? Eh? Which one is that you return your money? Which money? Did you see me taking any money? I didn't take your money, oh. If only I knew I would have taken that money, this money. Because I know you will not have any light for me. Mm. And now let me let you know this. If you take my money, it will be useless. Chief, no one they make me verso. I go change them for you. Did you see me stealing your money? Which kind of accusation be that one? Look, I did not collect your money. I'm not a thief. What are you trying to say? Don't get me angry. I cannot come and visit my father. I cannot go inside your room again. And now I'm not scared, Stabby. I know who will cause more damage. But let me assure you, if you take my money, my money is going to be useless to you. Yes, I mean my hard-earned money. You will see my money. You will feel it. You will touch it. But it will be useless to you until you turn a new leaf. Mm. That is if I took your money now. That is what you are saying now will happen if I took your money. I did not take your money. So it's not going to happen. This world is a sweet place. If only me and you are. We can love, love each other. If only we can love each other. This world we contain all of us. If only we can love baby. each other. I don't Afana, you don't ready. I don't know. Yeah, I just carry my bag now. No, now. I didn't open. I'm not going to enter this place. So, how the money contact me? My papa. My papa run now. My papa now run now. You know what I'm saying? Don't they suspect that this man a ritualist? But, hi! But why do you talk like that? You see, when I collect this money, I move the money. They won't come out. My papa lock me. He tell me, say, make I go drop the money. I'm not going to your money. He tell me, say, that money, I'm not going to see him. I'm go touch him, but I'm not going to spend them. You say? How they tell you now? Wait till the man talk. You know, I have been thinking, I have been suspecting that this man is a ritualist. But you see this matter now, I don't clear everything. That man I wish. But I tell you before, I don't hear you this thing before. I tell you say that man, say I don't trust him. No, but you don't go anything. You know, you just leave change, Eh? This life is not fair to me. I am suffering. My condition. Why water? 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 What's up? Cool, sir. Uh, it's not very cold because of the sun. Tell me, uh, what? you know it's... how they speak English like this? It's manageable. It's cold, I mean, no cold. It's manageable. Uh-uh, now what are you they say? Because of... It's mild. It's mild. It's not... Thank 
What thing I want to teach these boys again? Eh? Small mission why I send them no fee deliver. What thing they want to learn again? Well, have calm down now. Eh? Your blood to the hot. They go learn. But if you ask me, I go say this one is stealing. I go need to stop him. What if they yell with your mouth, eh? Which of them you they yell with this your mouth? Eh? You know, say money no day. If you know the industries, I want it to see, they see money. Even pass of where they carry the Bible, no be money that they find. Hey, oh, not true. Don't consign me. I'll call my mom tonight. By tomorrow, they'll be out of the house. My baby. My baby, my baby. You see why I like you? Okay, with that money, when you collect for your father's sake, bring her first. Make her know what you make her do okay first. Make her be happy. Ah. Wait, oh. I don't remember where I keep that money. You say? Wait, my baby, wait. Calm down. Wait, wait, wait. I don't lost the money again. Wait. The woman you know when you tell me say the car you come here. Now you tell me say you don't know where you keep them again. I don't lose this money again. I don't lose this money again. What did it happen now? Mo go find the money. You say wait. Mo go, mo go. I know where. I know where. Mo, mo, mo just go. I no go figure out for this place. You know, say I no go fit come out here. Eh? You won't make these people catch me. Security all of them, they roam around. Police people everywhere, they look for me. And you won't make I come out for this place. How we go? How we go do now? This man. This man. I don't think I don't tire. How we go do? I know. You will not that strategy, you know, because I know if you just stay like this for here. What you not go do? I go show them. It's a long story. Yo. So one rough looking girl, okay. uh, she came to me to buy water. I was trying to sell water to her. And one guy just came from nowhere, told her something and took her away. She forgot the money with me. Hi, thank you, Jesus. God of provider. Let me say we don't make a move. Excuse me? We don't make a now. You, you, you see the money? No, 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 no. I have to, I have to return the money. What do you mean? I have to return this money. Why? Tochi? No, why? Man, you didn't hear since the sofa. Now you see this guy when you want to turn and you the crazy? Frank, I have never stolen anybody's thing all my life. I can't start now. Tochi, listen. You never stole somebody's thing before. I agree. Let me store this money on your behalf. As a matter of fact, let the scene down my head. You don't understand? See money now. Ah, hey! Even dollar. I just saw the dollar now. You, you, you know what? Tochi, don't worry. Give me the money. Eh? Let me use that stuff. Give you which money? Give me the money now. Now stop now. I can't give you this money. Why not give me the money? Let me say, let me say, stop money. Stop it, though. Don't you my house? I have to return this money. You know my house. I don't want any trouble. I will start collecting rent from you. You know my house. What do you mean by that? Small gun. Stop, stop it. Let me give you this money. Stop it now. What's your problem? No. She said no. You know what the money? Listen, I have to return it. Why you return it? You don't need the money. If you don't need that, give me. I will give you. I was the guy who sold water to you the other day. You left your bag and your money. Come out the bag now, you talk. I lost this bag. Yes, you forgot it with me. Hmm? 
I had to return your money. Ha! Ha! For this era, they didn't return money. Even madman said pick money, no waiting be money. So, what did make you return them? Peace of mind, sense of pride, my integrity, all of that. Ha! I have to go now. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. So, like this now, what are you going to gain say you return your money? Now you good pass. I don't understand. Don't lose your money next time. It's okay. I need to talk with you. Where is it now? Sit down now. Wait here, Hugo. Um, just a uh, gay business idea where my friend uh, Karikon gave me. And he said we'll be needing like uh, 100,000 for a start. Business idea? Yeah. 100,000? Uh -huh. To start the business? Just a moment. For a start. So Frank, where do you expect to get that type of money from? I don't understand. What about the money you brought home the other day? I understand we fought over it. You understand? But uh, at the end of the day, I decided to let you have the money. So from that money, you can bring 100,000. Let's use it and start first. You don't understand? Frank, you're still thinking about that money. I've returned it to the owner. Huh? No, you, you, you are joking. No, I'm not joking. I'm just coming from where I returned the money. Hi. This guy, why didn't I know from the very first day he saw you that you are very stupid? No, my boss, you want sense. You don't have common sense. How are you going to return the money now? Huh? What did you bring all those ones now? Frank, I don't understand. I've never stolen anybody's money before. As I so, will not take what does not belong to me. Money will go to send from above to change our life. Eh? Now you, you just stupidly return back to the owner. I'm, what did they bring those ones now? I'm sorry, I can't take anything that doesn't belong to me. I've never done it before. And Don't I'm, you dare street, let me remind you. You dare street. You understand? So I won't go make them for street. If you know if you use street wise, if you don't use your brain, I won't take make them. Eh? Okay, no problem. So Waiting the person give you as an appreciation of returning back the money. At least I sure say the person must find you something. Waiting give you. Nothing. No. She didn't give me anything. No. Besides, I wasn't expecting anything from her. So. Oh boy, you're mad. No, do, 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 you are crazy. I even regret why I even allow you to come to my house at the first place. Which kind of woman will you be now? Eh? No, which kind of person you be? I don't give the no, I don't give no her back her money. I don't give her back the money. No, for this life, you know, female can be no gas she be. Ah. See the owner of the money. Your friend invest in you, return the money. Welcome. Yes, sir. Is angry? Are you angry still? Yeah. So, why did come let you re return the money? Honestly, I, I have no idea. I'm not sure why I did. Ah. Now, wow, wonderful. What's wrong? Why are you surprised? I don't understand. This thing will happen between me and you. It they confuse me. Like, this thing just, just the way one kind part of me, why if you say you don't die, you understand? Like this kind kindness, why you go do this kind thing? Why? You there for streets. You can't return money. I don't understand. Honestly, I... I'm short of words. I don't know why I returned the money. 
Maybe because it's not a part of me to steal other people's things. Besides, I, it's a bad time for me now, but I thought it was the right thing to return the money. So person go there for streets, still be better person. That kind of thing they happen. Well, I strongly believe that you can be on the streets and not act like the people on the streets. I don't know now. I don't know say it is possible say you go there streets, can't still be better person on top. I don't know now. Eh? Me, I don't they fucked up. I they messed up. Me, I won't begin from. Eh? Well, you don't know that. It's not in your power to say you are fucked up or messed up. You're not God. You don't go understand. You don't go understand the kind of life where they live. I don't hurt so many people. I don't even know where I won't begin from. Eh? Up no day, oh. Up no day. Well, I strongly believe there's always a second chance. Besides, you can change your bad ways, understand that there's good and evil, know the difference, and change. That was how all my friends were arrested, including Wahab. I was alone and thought she came along. He was a good friend. And every day he visited me. He told me stories. Stories that inspired and made me wanted to become better. He really impacted on your life. Oh, he did. He was God sent. He changed my pattern of life. He even took me to rehab. Took care of me. Stayed with me until I recovered. He was indeed an angel. Oh yes, he was more than an angel to me. He made me go back to the chair I that left home that day. Even my parents were surprised about my change. You mean they didn't know him until you were fully recovered? No. But when I was fully recovered, Tucci insisted that we go back to my parents and apologize to them and ask them for their blessing. Wow. That's a good idea. Um, that was exactly how I helped her become a better person. I literally you know, showed her the path to becoming a responsible woman. And uh, one thing led to another. We became friends and we started dating. Oh, uh, I see. So why did you think it was a good idea to date her? It's pretty much complicated. It's a, it's a long story. But it looks like um, she was ready before you decided to date her. Yeah, something like that. I mean, she's beautiful and very attractive. Were you in any way sexually attracted to her? I mean, who wouldn't be? I was, but then she pushed me into all of that. I mean, she... <laughs> Don't say that. How can you say a woman pushed you into... I mean, a woman cannot push you into having a relationship with her. Uh, it's either you start the relationship because of love, sex, or other material things. You're right, but you need to hear this. Um, when I realized she had changed, I, I, I thought it was right to tell her. In fact, I told her to go and apologize to her parents for everything she had done. 
I was surprised when she said she wanted me to go with her. And trust me, when I did, it became the turning point of my life and that of my friend. I wandered off like a sheep that left its flock. Even though I know I was headed for destruction, the anger in my heart wouldn't let me look back. Mom, Dad, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am sorry. Jerica. I have forgiven you long before now. My daughter, I have forgiven you too. Please, stand up. Stand up. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. I, I don't know what came over me sincerely. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, sir, please, I also apologize for for everything she has done i know that uh, she drifted away and crossed boundaries but i can attest to the fact that she's a changed person so even not for anything for that alone can you accept her back as your daughter I apologize on her behalf once again. Thank you. Young man. Sir. Who are you? Um, my name is Tochi. I live in this town. What about your parents? My parents passed on a long time ago. It's okay. It's okay. From what you have displayed to us, Sydney, we might as well make you part of his family. Hmm. Yes. You will. You'll be our son if you wish. And if there's anything you want sorted out. If there's any reason you are looking for a place to call your own, come on, this is your home. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's okay. I prayed for this day. I prayed for this day. I feel like I saw you changing the way of life. I practically knew that. Seriously, get ready to cry. That's really now. I told you to get ready to cry. I did too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so me having a big three now. Big two. <laughs> what happened? Then last card. J. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I almost won you. Hey. Okay. Um one more. Okay. Your turn to play. Babe, what is it? You look very excited. What's the good news? Guess what? Oh, come on, Rika. You know I'm not good at guessing. Just tell Let's me. Go straight try. to the point and tell me. Okay. Well, I told Dad about us. You did? Mm-hmm. What did you tell him? I told him that we're together. I told him about our relationship. Ah, is that... Oh, no wonder your mother called me and asked me to write down the things I need. <laughs> but you shouldn't have told them. Don't worry. You need to see what I wait to see. Relax. 
That reminds me. Dad said you should come see him this weekend. He did? Mm -hmm. Come here. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know you're God sent to me, right? Well, you are God sent to me too. Mm. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> so you went to tell your mom? Mm -hmm. You went to tell your dad? Oh, well, I wanted to send my daughter abroad to meet her brother out there. But she told me she's uh, planning to get married. She said that? I, I, I didn't want to be part of the plan, but um, along the line, I decided to go along with it, especially with the kind of person. I see you like a go getter. And uh, with that kind of uniqueness, I, I think you make a good husband to my daughter. Yes. And I saw the way they are boarding already. I am giving you a job as a sectional manager in my company. Um, sir. And the job comes with a car and a house. And some other allowances are come from your basic salary. So you're giving me a job in a house? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you very much, sir. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate this, sir. This means so much to me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. You have changed my judgment. You have turned me Rika. You brought me fulfillment. And I want to say thank you. And you, on the other hand, brought me out of the dust. You know, at some point, I felt like my life was condemned. But then, you came along and added colors and value to my life. Thank you. No, I should say thank you. Uh -uh. I should say thank you. <laughs> oh no, I should say thank God for bringing you my way. That's right. <laughs> so your father said, you mentioned to him that we are getting married. Is that true? Yes, I had to. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way he would have done all he did for you. Or, oh, don't you like it? No, it's okay. I mean, it's, uh, I like it. It's all right. But um, I am of the opinion that we get to know ourselves better before we talk about marriage because sometimes you might you know, dislike people if you don't know them well? No. I mean, what is there not to like about you? Why don't you let me worry about that? All right? <laughs> what is there not to like about you? Right. Your hands are so soft. Oh, it is. Auntie. Yes, Dad. Oh, Dad. I heard you now, Onika. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I own a car now. God has remembered me. Very good. So I'm going to go get myself dressed so you take me out. Uh -uh. He is going to take me out first. <laughs> no, me. If you don't take me out, we'll no longer be friends anymore. Okay, okay. So uh, I intend to go to the village. Uh, when I return, I promise to take you out. You take me out. Me. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I'll be back. Alright. 
She's so loud. That was the mistake you and your family made. In fact, you were the one that pushed them into that mistake. And it was also obvious you were the one that forced to save on the young man. No. He told me that he loves me. He may have loved you as a friend, but it takes an extra leap for a man to start seeing you as his future wife. It wasn't just words. It was his actions. He showed me so much love that no one has ever showed me in my entire life. Look, it's not just only that you forced the marriage on this young man. You also presented it with things that he couldn't resist. Are you saying he accepted to marry me because of the wealth he was seeing in front of him? Well, yeah. If not for the job, the house, the cars. Honestly, I would have told her father that I never discussed anything pertaining marriage with his daughter. You needed to see how much I, I needed these things. I was desperate to have them. I mean, why didn't you tell her you're in love with someone else? Why did you tell her you love her when you know you don't? I mean, she wouldn't have assumed you do if, if you hadn't given her any reason to. The truth is, I, I wanted her to... I wanted her to stop her old ways. I wanted her to live a good life. I wanted her to... I wanted to give her something to believe in. I, I needed her to change. At some point, I wanted to settle with her. Honestly speaking, I wanted to settle with her until I began to hear stories about her past and how she lived her life. And I... I, I got discouraged. Okay, um, as it is now, have you made it clear to her that you're no longer going to marry her? <sighs> no, I haven't. After, you know, getting the, the job, the car, the house, I went to the village and I realized a strong reason why I shouldn't let all of these material things go away. Is this you? Yes, it's me. Ah. And the car? Whose car is this? It's one of my cars. One of your cars? Yeah. Ah. How did you get this kind of car? Eh? This very expensive car. How? Eh? It's barely two years that you left here and you come back with this kind of a uh, big car. I hope you have not gone to go and do money rituals. <laughs> um, I'm cool. It's uh, it's a long story. I I came to inform you that God has remembered me. Hmm. Yeah. You see, I have always known that you are going to be a very useless. Uh, sorry, a very useful boy. Eh? It's just that it's so sudden. Eh? Big car like this. And I don't understand. Uncle, I was told you... You sold your compound. Oh. This one? Yes, I did. In fact, I actually came to pack my remaining belongings. Because I hear the, the person that bought the place wants to bring the place down and build his own mansion. 
Oh, yes. That's good. So when are you leaving? Actually, I was almost on my way before you drove in. Okay. Mm. Uncle, I actually... Uh, I bought the house. You, did say, you said what? I said I... I paid for your compound. You paid for my compound? Yes. How am I supposed to believe that? You are not the one that I collected money from now. So how? I sent someone to do that on my behalf. You what? Yeah. You sent somebody to pay me? Eh? Hey! <laughs> to Chuku. Hey! Give me a second, I'm right back. Uncle, here. Here's some money. I'm sure you would be needing some money to get a taxi to where you're going. So, <sighs> some money. Ojuku, are you sure you want me to take this money? Sure, it's yours. Mm. Mm hmm. Here you go, take it. Uncle? Ojuku. This is more or less like a confirmation that God can decide to bless anyone. Guys, you are right. And there's no condition permanent. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tochi. Yeah. You are now a big boy. You have totally changed. Uh, I don't think uh, we are on the same level now. I I know you, uh, I will be nothing to you because you have upgraded. You don't have to say that. I mean, whatever belongs to me also belongs to you. Right? What's mine is yours. That was Tenu. I'm not sure of it now. Yeah. Are you telling me that those city girls will leave you for me? How is that even possible? I know that the kind of girls you, you mingle with now will be very classy. Girls that knows what's up. Yeah, you're telling me this one. The truth is that I don't have strength to compete with anybody. I won't let that happen. You were there for me when I had nothing. So trust me when I say that. You're not in competition with anybody. Alright? You know, Tochi. Truth is that I have never loved anyone the way I love you. I love you so much. But at this point, my mental health is at stake. And I don't want anything that will give me sleepless nights. I'm not ready for it. Give me your hand. Let this serve as an assurance that we're going to be together forever. I don't understand. Uh, 
um, Mama, no. your daughter and I, um, we have agreed, uh, we have decided to s s be together. Be together? Yes, uh, we have decided to marry each other. You know. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Yes. <coughs> My son, I am happy to hear this. I am very, very happy. But what I want to hear is the date. The date you will come with your people for a proper introduction. Eh? Go be run, man. Um, Mama, you're right. But um, I, I have a business trip to make. Yes, I'll be away for one month and three weeks. Once I come back, I'll come with my people and do the marriage rites, I promise. You have known each other for a very long time now. So I am very happy you're making this decision now. Oh? Thank you very much. I'm happy for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not saying anything. Mama. You know I love Tochi so much. But like you said, he should take a step further. Yes. Right. Mama, thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. I really appreciate your kind uh, words. My mother was surprised about your sudden change. I mean, uh, is that not what we have always prayed for? Yes, you are right. But the success is still sudden. I mean, in just a year that you left the village, you bought a car, built a house, transformed into a wealthy man. And from the look of things, I don't see you as one who can be faithful to me. We are no more on the same level. So I, I think it would be best if you stay away from me. Why should I do that? Why should I stay away from you? I mean, what about everything we shared? Do you want me to throw that away? I can't do that. But you already threw them away. Yes, for a year, you stopped communicating me. No chats, no calls, nothing. And I'm sure it's because of a girl. Yes. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. My actions were not intentional. I had to work hard. I had to focus on my goals, my dreams, to ensure that I wipe tears off your eyes. And now that I am back, you should be happy. It's a sweet place If only me and you are We could love Love each other. Only we could love each other. You mean you engaged Kineka and you still would not tell Cherika your stand in the relationship with her? I was afraid. I was afraid of the unknown. Besides, I didn't want to lose the job. I've been listening to you all this while. Don't you why didn't I like your friend? If you cannot tell me a sensitive issue like this, huh? This issue is something that good of all would have put heads together and solve it once and for all. A thought came into my mind. Something I have never thought of all my life. That is the point I want to hear. What did you do? My lips are heavy. You wouldn't like to hear this. If you know how much your life is dependent on this, you wouldn't hold back for a minute. Dochi, it is foolishness for one to hide something that is capable of taking his life. Listen, 
whatever it is that you are hiding, I believe must have been the reason why you are acting like someone who is being wanted. So you better speak. But I didn't kill her. I wonder why her, her sister died. She's here. Yeah. Hey! You killed me. So you must confess. Oh, she's here. She's where right now? What are you saying? Listen, I didn't kill you. Confess! Why are you tormenting my life? I didn't kill you! Confess! 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 Confess. So you finally brought shame upon this family. <laughs> what will people say about us? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for yourself. Ginika, after all my teachings to you, after all my advice, Ginika, you finally brought shame upon me, upon yourself. Now tell me, who is responsible for your pregnancy? Who? <laughs> you don't know him again. You don't know who got you pregnant. Who is responsible for your pregnancy, Geneka? Talk to me before I strangle you. It, it happened. It. It happened on the engagement. It happened when? Do I ask you when it happened? I said simple something. Who is responsible for your pregnancy? And you are telling me it happens. It, ha it happened when? Who is responsible? It's... It's Dochi. Oh. So, that man has finally put you in trouble without performing any marital rights. He said he will marry me. He will marry you. Ha, <sighs> Geneka. He said he will marry you. How many times have I told you that this man that always promised telling woman that he will marry you, I will marry you, I will marry you. They are not serious. They are your worst enemy. They are wicked more than you thought. He will never marry you. He will never complete his promises. They are empty promises. The only time you will start taking them serious is when they marry you and put you in their house. Kinika, look at what you've done to me. <laughs> look at what you have done to me. Hi! Don't touch me! Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Please. Hi! I'm Kinika. Sorry. <laughs> Kinika. Why? I'm sorry. 
Why? 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 Do you know that the attempt you made to kill your father has created an indelible injury in his heart? And, and by the way, how did you get to suspecting your father to be a ritualist? Wahab. Wahab gave me that information and I know, I know, I know he's, he would never lie to me. And why would you believe the words of a criminal than that of your father? Well, Wahab might be a criminal, but I know him. He would never lie to me. Only you believed him because your mind was never off the street. By the way, you knew that this guy was trying to drag you back into the street, yet you believed every word he says. God in heaven knows that I would never return back to the streets. Oh, can you tap a bait on that? Look, if you kill your father, my dear, you will not only return to the street. Yes, but you will transpose into the worst monster you never imagined you could be. Believe me. But is my father a ritualist? Did he use Amanda for money ritual? The Bible says, judge no one that you may not be judged. Vengeance is of the Lord, says the God of hosts. Killing a sinner does not make you pure in the presence of God. He says he is going to judge every man according to his deed. God never said he will use you to kill people, rather to save them. Today you have sinned against him. So you will go back and apologize to your father to delete the picture of a hideous monster that you have created in his heart. Mommy, I want to see my brother. Hey, honestly, I am restless. My heart is strong. Mama Odinaka! Mama Where is my son? Mama Odinaka, what did you hear about Odinaka? I want to see the chief priest of Ogogo. He told me he saw our son's image hovering around. Just pray, nothing happens to my son. Daddy, I have been having bad feelings about him too. I suggest you go there by yourself and find out the truth. Uh, and I, I think both of us should go. Eh? But I don't believe they lied to me. Uh, my name is so bad at all. I want to see my son. I think so my heart will know peace because both of us should You are still talking trash. You are still talking trash. Pray nothing happens to my son. I have told you the time and again. Sometimes the steps we take to discipline our children actually removes them into what we never expected of them. You see, it is wrong for a young lady to get pregnant out of wedlock. But it's also a bigger crime for the parents to send their children away from home or maltreat them heavily just because they got pregnant out of wedlock. It destroys them more than the pregnancy would do. Pastor Johnson, I know I, I make mistakes. But do you realize that I would have been a dead man by now or nursing very bad injury if you had not come? I, I, I don't know how I come. I don't know how I raised a child that could hold a knife at me, look at me in the eyes and want to kill me. See, when you send a child away from home for a grievous offense or mistake, 
you've ended up throwing that child's future into the marketplace. You never can tell who is going to pick it up. Now, the big question is, what becomes of the future or fate of a child if it falls into the wrong hands? Most times, the nightmares that comes with all these unthoughtful actions may end up haunting us for the rest of our lives. But Pastor, when she returned, we showed her love and care. Yes. She was totally a changed person. I don't know what went wrong again. Her case is a dirty one. Yes. She may have healed, but the scars remain indelible. In handling her face, you need to be very careful. Not just for her, but for your own good. When you turn a child into a monster, you will end up becoming a prey. She will not come back home tonight. I want her to have a sober reflection of herself, of her life. And moreover, I would love you people to devise a means to help her to heal. If possible, send her abroad. Send her to a more peaceful and unfamiliar environment. I believe it will help her heal better. Pastor Johnson, I, 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 I told her I wanted to send her overseas, but she refused. She has a, a man she wants to get married to. That is another error on your side. You should have examined this young man very well before making those promises to him. I did. I examined him. I, 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 we, we did. I, I, I came to the conclusion that he is a nice boy. Yes, he was even the person that changed my daughter. They play along like twins. I put it to you that that young man was never in any way ready to get married to your daughter. He only accepted to get married to her just because of the benefits attached. Yes. We already had a plan of uh, rewarding him before this marriage issue came up. He was never ready to get married, let alone getting married to your daughter. As a matter of fact, your daughter was actually the one that laid it on him. And he couldn't say no because he knew that he was going to lose all this little, little, or should I say he was afraid of losing those little gifts if he didn't play along. I thought as much because that young man never mentioned anything concerning marriage again. We thought setting him up financially would make the marriage happen fast. It's okay. I, 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 I made mistakes too. I, I also oh, I want you to forgive me. I'm sorry. I, I forgive you. Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daddy. So, there's a big issue here. Tell me about it. I took up Naka to the security people to torture him so he can confess. Because they tortured him to death. What? Huh? Mama! I told you. I told you to leave that innocent boy alone. I told you. I am sorry, please. Is the handwork of the devil. Forgive me. God revealed this to me the day your wife came to my office to ask of what happened to the daughter. I saw the revenge in her eyes. But the Holy Spirit gave her a simple instruction that I was sure she wasn't going to bear. 
I'm sorry, please. I have sinned against God and human. Please forgive me. God, forgive me. Just pray that God shows you mercy. And next time, you'll learn to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. <sighs> Annabelle went and took the body from their custody. Is that why she's not picking my call? And where did she take all the Naka's body to? Mom, I told you. I told you, but you won't listen to me. I told you that these people, they're, they're not professional. I know these people. Why would they release the body of someone they killed to someone else? Why? They called. They notified me that Annabelle wants to take the body for autopsy. So I allowed them to, to release the body. Even at that, mom, it's illegal. See, these people, they've entered my trouble. They should just better be prepared for me because I will give them trouble. Chirika, please. please, I don't want any trouble right now. I just don't want any trouble right now so I don't go crazy. But, but mom, you should have at least asked where they took it to. Eh? You should have, where, where? I asked, they said they don't know. Ha! Then let's get into town and mm. check all the hospitals. I don't know. Wait, what is it? He just started acting like this and saying he wants to confess. Hi! Oh, please, 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 sorry, please, sorry. Stop doing this to confess or you die. Confess or you die. I'm going to say it how it happened. Do stop scaring me, please. Please. Sorry, I really don't know how to say this, but I am compelled to say the truth. I have to confess. Is that the, the truth is I it, it wasn't my intention to get married to your daughter. I only wanted to get her off the streets and reunite her with her family. But she she forced marriage on me. What? I accepted to marry her because of everything you offered me. I didn't want to lose them. But then when I realized she wasn't the type of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with, I decided to get her off the way. I, I, so something, a stupid thought came into my mind. I, How much I, I love to have you around me. I know. I've missed you. Come here. Oh. Well, babe, hold on. You sounded really desperate over the phone. I told you my distributors were waiting for me, but you insisted I, I have to come now. I, I just miss you and I, I miss I miss us. Come mm -hmm. here, baby. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, baby. Well, we'll do this when I get back, okay? Really? Your lip is very pretty, but I can't oh. even kiss you. You're gonna oh, ruin my no. makeup. Come on, don't do this to me. I was come missing on. you so much. But guess what? What? I got something really special for you. Chicken. Give me a second. A chicken. Yes. Okay, babe. Go hurry up. I don't want to come inside. 
Mm. There you go. Very spicy. Well, I like it. You know I love it. I know you do. Thank you very much. Mm. I love you. Okay. Okay. What? I gotta go. See you later. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry to do this, but this will be your last meal. But do I really have to do this? Oh my God, how did I even conceive this idea? <laughs> Tochi, you've now become a murderer. I'll never do this again in my life. I have been with her for quite a while and I know she likes to eat chicken. So I, I gave her spicy poisoned chicken to eat. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really to make sense. But I, I don't think she ate it. She did not eat it. When I left his house that day, he, he gave me chicken. And I was headed for a meeting and then I remembered I forgot a file at home. So I came back home, picked up the file and left the chicken at home. You wanted to kill me? You killed my sister! Amanda appeared to me and told me she ate the chicken and it killed her. Yes! I can remember. You came back that day asking for the chicken you left in the kitchen. I'm sorry, sir. Please, you, I didn't you know. The girl that you, you always come here to kill. No, no, no. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You have to come here. I hear the girl that you always come here to play with. You wanted to get You to us. Please, please, don't kill me, please, don't kill me. Your sister is tormenting me already. Hey, move it! Hey, move it! Hey, move it! Where is my son? Where is my son? Where is my son? Bring him out here. I came prepared. I do not come for any formality. It is in there. Tell him to come outside. My brother. What? Take it easy. Just calm down. Calm down for what? I want to see the chief priest of Ogugu. He told me you used my son for ritual. And if what he told me is true, I assure you to death. By the time I'm done with you, no one will remain standing in this house. I will burn this place down. My brother, calm down. We are brothers. We can't be hurting. We can't be hurting what? I just told you I don't have any time to waste. If in the next one minute I do not set my eyes on my son, like I told you, I can't be back. What nonsense is this? Let's go inside and talk like brothers now. Come on. Why are you always threatening me? Threat threatening who? I'm threatening you. I said I came to take my son home. And see what you did to my son. Tell me what you did to my son. My, my brother. I, I, I said you should calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. And don't even call me your brother. Since you do not want to tell me what you did to my son, I will go in there and see the doctor myself. But remember, you are going to explain to the entire village what you did to my son. See what your disobedience have cost us? I am sorry, please. Just that I was bittered. Please forgive me. Okay, now see where your bitterness has actually cost us. Whatever happens, let God be the judge. 
And in anger, if you take loss into your hand, you end up being a victim of that same law. Like I said, I am so sorry, people. Just forgive me. Let us forget about the past and turn a new life, please. Thank God the Outlaker did not die. Please. I am so sorry, Biko. So sorry. <laughs> the JJ. <laughs> She's favorite, my big friend. I, I'm always happy anytime you come visiting. That's why we are friends. <laughs> yes. And then, Chief how far has it been? Oh. My brother almost made the Igwe ostracized me from this community. It was not easy. But at the end of the day, I was vindicated. And the highlight of it all is now is that my brother and I are best of friends. <laughs> hey, mm. that's the bad <laughs> news. Yes. Yeah. It's always dangerous being enemies with your siblings. That's true. Yeah. The enmity always give birth to more serious problems. More and more and more. Serious problems. You needed to see the way. <laughs> well, I thank God all is over. Mm. And um, Rika and uh, my granddaughter have sent them abroad. Ah, that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's good you have separated her from this environment. Yes. yes. And I think that may help her focus on starting a new life. That's the intention. Um, um, if you report about Toji. Well, you already know that he was charged to court. But what you're not aware is that he's presently serving his J10. Hmm? I still insist that life is not fair. Hmm? People go through a lot. Both the rich and the poor. But the pitiful aspect part of life is that it gives us opportunity to learn how to live better. And every day we learn. We we'll continue to learn. Yes. <laughs> Chief oh, my wife. Let's, let's have a chance to the good times. Yeah. Ah. It was serious. I'm telling you. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they're going to be the glory. Yeah. Mom. You're just holding tight this sweets your grandma gave you. <laughs> Eh? Come in, let me open it for you. Yeah? Am I dreaming? Tochi. Is this really you? Yes. I was, I was arrested. After that, I was charged to court. And the judge sentenced me to prison. for all my mistakes. I thought I will never see you again. I came out yesterday. I apologize for all my mistakes. God gave me a second chance. I'm happy to see you again. Who's this? You have a child now. Married now. Touchy. 
This is your father. What? What did you say? How? You remember the night of the engagement. She is the product of that beautiful moment. Say hello to your father. I named her after you. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Smile for your father. Spirit is restless. 